Right, time to create yet more engineering masterpieces in the long play of Polybridge 2. We're onwards to Chapter 4? Chapter 4? Yeah, Chapter 4, the Sanguine Gulch. But before that, a lot of people have been adding me on Steam lately, probably wanting to have their bridges compared to mine. Well, let's take a quick idea and see how stiff the competition is. Let's check out uh, Chapter 1, 1-1 one, one, for example. And we can see that, uh, well, I mean, I'm head and shoulders above most of these scrubs, except for some guy called Invisible Jim. Invisible Jim seems to be the new G pick around here. <laughs> and then we've got scrubs like Jimmy C and Ice Bear. Oh well, that just sets the tone for it. Let's go and see what we can make. 16 maps. We will hopefully get through them all today. I don't intend on any chapter taking longer than one session. Mm, I suppose I got the whole rest of the day. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, 1-1 one, one, edgy. What do we have to deal with here? Let's try and get back into the uh, the feel of this game. So the, our little pickup thing moves, then the hydraulics kick in, then the boat goes, then the hydraulics kick in again, and then it moves once more from here. So it needs to get here, we clear a path for you, close back up, bish, bash, and bosh. Okay, I mean, it looks easy, but looks can be deceiving, right? Let's start by making a really simple road here. And let's think, I would want this to go way up. So maybe I can do this really simple with some triangulated wood. Maybe I want it to be as high as possible, like so. There we go, nice and simple. Maybe I would do well to keep it well supported down here as well. Oh, doesn't like that because of these rocks, interesting. But it does like that, also interesting. All right, so, 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 so. I imagine it would drive across this fine and dandy. Oh, without fault, but then, of course, this thing's going to come along, ruin my perfectly well-constructed bridge, and then down this thing goes into the sink. Of course. Now, maybe I can get rid of you anyway and just save myself the bother. And, 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 and... Maybe I could pull this thing up from here... Because it's going to go... Wait, is that what would pull up? No, I don't want that pulling up. That's going to be a pivot. This is going to be a pull-up moment. Alright, you know, you, you want to cause me so much problems there. Become a rope. Looking good so far, but why wouldn't it? Uh, that's a compelling reason not to. Alright, this thing simply can't handle it. Neither can that. <laughs> Alright, so it, it's not a big fan on uh, having all this support. It's interesting. I wonder if I could also have you supported like that. I think you split the wrong thing, Jake. Well, maybe. I need it to come off of there, but then be pulled up. Okay, what if... We do something like this. And then I'm just going to pull the whole thing up. Just pull it all up. Oh, well, that, that thing's not going to like it, is it? Oh, oh, getting somewhere. Yeah, I just need to do a lot more than that. I bet it's just lacking a bit of a bit of support. I can help you out there, chum. Well, nothing breaking to begin with this time, at least. Hey, kind of close. Now, how do we 
bring it up even more so it's not being even more of a pain. I think we're going a bit too big on this idea. Let's get rid of most of this junk. Maybe I can pull you up and you up. I mean, what if I were to pull this up? Then that would go... we kind of also pulled something here up. Like that pulls up at an angle and then this pulls up even more to make it completely lip up like that. That's my thoughts and my thoughts are usually pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's good work. Could work really well, even. Really, really well. What'll it be? Ooh, it'll be unsupported. I mean, that looked good if it all held, so clearly this needs to be stronger. Alright, it's looking promising, because we're starting to actually uh, allow this to pass. Perhaps we just need a bit more support around here. <laughs> I didn't like that either. And this whole part's not very good at staying together. Yeah, not happy with that, is it? Mm -hmm. It's giving up the ghost here anyway. Just do it expensive until we have something that actually works, and then we can cheapen out all we want. I'm just surprised that this thing keeps collapsing on me. Let's see, it's probably because all this stuff is uh, wrong. I can't have that together as it compresses as well. Oh, hey, that looks more promising than anything else we've made so far. The problem is that stuff comes down and this has no incentive to be back the way it was, does it? No, but it would if we had a lovely wee rope to hold it in place. Lovely wee rope. At least the bridge didn't get destroyed by the boat this time, and more of it than before is held together. Hmm. What's the major problem here? I mean, that thing should pull back to make this fling up that way. I don't know if it's going to be strong enough. I don't mind going way over budget. It can all be fixed later. And then this needs to do a similar thing. So you're going to be pulled up around this. I can't see why that would cause many problems. And yet you break. Ah, well, that that's a problem. That's keeping it where it shouldn't be. Actually, most of that is. Hmm. I wonder if I can 
be something like that. <laughs> well, perhaps not. thing wouldn't just destroy itself. Hmm, bet I could get rid of most of this. Might stop the thing weighing so much. And then transfer it over to here. If I can turn off the snapping, and we can have it Right, up you go, go. It kind of went up. What is the problem? Why is this breaking? Probably because you exist. Which in a sense tells me that none of that should exist either. Up you go. Too weak. Why must you be so weak? Maybe it shouldn't be connected to there, but instead be connected to something like there. Oh, looking promising. Now back you go. So close. Now what's the problem here? Maybe it's a similar problem, but you shouldn't be connected there. You should be connected there. Looking good. Oh, so close. Except for, you know, this part. What's up with that? Why, why, why? Is that a problem? Probably lack of roping going on. Let's snap once again. Do it like so, and like so. And that way it shouldn't fling itself down any... Oh, well, fling it shall. Oh. Why are you gonna bust up my bridge like that? But I bet it's something two ropes can so oops. Mm, back we go, Z to undo. I still bet it's something that two ropes can solve. Two ropes are better than one. Hmm, no. What's the problem here? Hmm. Let's observe it once again, see what's going wrong. Observe it a bit slower though. Right, so once this connects, this has... There's nothing it can do but just fall down. So... You're being cling, clung onto there. I wonder if I can also cling you on like so. Like do a double bringer-upper. Oh ho ho ho, yeah! Yet another masterful solution. The iterative process at work. And I'm sure there's room for a bit more iteration here. This is just the alpha. Let's move on to something a bit, you know, cheaper. <laughs> Seems a bit overcompensate -y there, but it works. Alright, so by cheaping out on the steel, we've already accelerated ourselves way up the list, shadow eating the dust, but I'm sure there's more room for improvement. Like, who really needs all of these pieces? Not this bridge. Does anyone need any of these pieces, truthfully? Maybe a few. Maybe, like, that. Mm, that, then? <laughs> Okay, maybe some of them were necessary, but I doubt a lot of them were. 
Rectangles, though. The strongest shape ever used. Architects world over hail the rectangle for its rigidity. There we go, and just like that, a few more eat our dust. Alpha Gamo. <laughs> he just can't even begin to compete. Alright, I'm sure there's room for cheapening, but we're not like that. We kill and keep moving, so let's just enjoy our solution one more time and move on. Hold on, hold on. There's a big bit of cheapening that we could do, and indeed are somewhat obliged to do. Nobody said that we couldn't cheap out with Eastern European concrete. That's already going to make a world of savings. I just like to use the expensive stuff early on to ensure that our solution works before we try and cheapen, in, uh, cheapen out. Jinx, there's not even room left for doubt now. Whoever this guy is, they're eating it as well. Good enough, let's move on. Right, 4-2, collision warning. Oh, more of these jumpy things. I'm not a fan. Really not a fan. Smash. Okay, let's watch that in regular speed. They jump. They meet. They splash. So I need to do something to make them not hit each other. Hmm. I really like the jumpy ones, says Alpha. I'm sure you do. Right, what I wonder is, can I make it meet its friend? How far up do you have to go for this? Alright, there's no real imperative for me to make that any better. It's already amazing. We just need the other guy to make it uh, over as well. At very minimal budget, I might add. See if we can do it with just wood. We cannot. But I bet some of it could still be wood. Yeah. <laughs> Good enough. Okay, now this loser needs to get across. And frankly, why don't I just make him do a longer one? Something like so. I bet that'll get it across. Then it's just a case of holding it in place with rope and lightly suspending it below with wood. Uh, mm, I suppose if that's going to bear all the everything, it should be made of something a bit more expensive. Good enough, but uh, it breaks and we can't have breaks. Now, I don't actually think you're doing anything there at all. <laughs> it's amusing. That's really good if this thing doesn't break. So I just need to keep it at the same angles, but not have it shatter. Did I ever mention that I don't like the jumpy ones? You know, I hear springs are really good at taking... That's not a spring at all. I hear springs are really good at taking shock, but maybe that's not what we're looking for around here. Ooh, it doesn't like that. No, no, it doesn't. Pretty good. Almost pretty good. Perfection. Now, cheapening out. I really feel like metal is needed here at the very least just to hold it all together. The rest, though, I really wonder if rope can do it with a bit of wooden reinforcing. Oh no, it's already slumping a bit. Oh, but 
it's so close. So close to being perfect. Let's get a bit more equilateral then. Great. Now let's ignore that and have it flip up a bit more. Uh, I think at this point it's more likely to meet the other guy now. Yeah, no, we might have needed that extra bit at the end. Just need to support it a little better. saving. Can I just get rid of most of this? <laughs> so close. So incredibly close. There you go. Great. Now let's speak nothing more of this because, uh, oh my god, Shadow. All I can be is disappointed. Right, sloped drawbridge. Thank God you're not an in real life engineer or architect. Can you make me this project, Jake? Answer me this. How cheap do you want it to be? But don't answer me how effective. Right, sloped drawbridge. So this thing's going to make its move. And that's going to pop up. These things go, it pops back down, and then you make your move. But you specifically need to get into that. I'm not limited on anything. Couldn't I just do something like this? I mean, you say sloped, but how sloped do you mean? Maybe it means sloped at the end. Maybe it means sloped upwards at the end. Oh, I thought I could make it do a little, uh, a little spin at the end. Okay then, have it your way. You can gently come down. Still can't make it. What a disaster. Alright, well that's a bust then. It also cost me all my budget. Um, well now. Well, let's see, well now. Whatever we have here needs to have allowance for you. Um, you're the only one that needs to get there, so I could do it with springs. That seems foolhardy though. Plan, but it might be too cunning. That's a real risk. issue here is that I'm not going to let you do it like that. I want you to come down quite a lot thanks to the power of springs. Hmm. Let's go to you for now. Let's assume that these are already super stretched. Mm, let me think again. It's gonna go, let them go, huh. Don't want it to 
be like that. Maybe I should just keep them neutral for now. Or maybe even have them pre-compressed? Oh, well, certainly not. I was hoping this thing would be heavier and uh, spring them down so that it could go down quite a lot more, but it doesn't seem to be quite heavy enough. Oh, yeah, it's not even twice the mass of that thing. Mm. Oh, well, bang goes that idea, although it was probably a great idea. disappointing. I like the idea of pushing a whole uh, bridge upwards though. How far up can you go? Exactly that far you say? Well why don't we just raise the whole damn bridge? No, I want it to be a bit more equidistant than that, thanks. Sure, we can get away with some wood. Oh, oh, it doesn't like what I'm doing there, of course, because these aren't quite so equidistant, are they? Nah, probably not. Whatever, just get a feel for it then. Looks good, looks great. Now. Probably needs additional reinforcement over here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. By the way, Jake, your hydraulics are not pushing it. Oh yeah, they'd be contracting. Good point. <laughs> I bet it would uh, do the same things before where it goes up and then just falls away to the side there. support if it works that way. Unless... Hey, hey, How about that? Ignore this. I know I do. Alright, I suppose I should make it a nice, safe landing. triangulate when I want it to. Alright. Now I don't mind overspending, so overspend we shall. It's a proof of concept, don't you know? Fail early and cheaply. Snappy snappy, snappy snappy. Alright, make me proud. Let's watch it slow, so if there are any problems, hypothetically, we can fix them. It goes, over it goes, crunchy, crunchy it goes. At least the bridges, uh, the boats get through. Thoughts on end zone? I like end zone. End zone is there for when you want more banished. Right, so the problem lies thusly. I need something like you to keep that safe, and something like you to keep that safe. And then it should be able to make it no problem. Up you go. 
That's not up. That's not up at all. I need to stop it from swaying somehow, but it loves to sway. Must it sway so much? I think that's something I've never quite sussed out properly. Or maybe I did fix it once, but if I did, I've managed to forget. Maybe I can do something like this. That should go up to the point where it doesn't uh, doesn't cost you. And similarly here, that's a lot of stress. It's okay though. Now, what was your problem? Why are you eating so much stress? I wonder if it's because of this thing I put in. Maybe if I make this go in a bit longer. Oh, it's still under a very stressful situation. Oh, that couldn't handle it. Oh, but that's largely looking good. Very largely looking good. All right, I bet this stuff's just superfluous, so get rid of that. Think of the savings we make on the budget. This guy here is not up to the task, so we'll make him out of sterner stuff. Still a lot of stress going on there. Stress that grows. needs to be a bit higher. Please fix the middle. Middle looks good. Hmm. What can be done here? Hmm. Again, if we don't have the ropes, the whole thing just falls apart when we put it up, doesn't it? Kind of. The cable stretches? If it does, that's news to me. Hey, but I know what does stretch. Springs. Oh, hey, that was, that's looking really good, actually. It just needs to hold together a lot better. What if you guys weren't there? Well, then bad things happen. Maybe if we just had one of you. Um, uh, what if you were equidistant from those two? Ooh. It still kind of falls over to one side. Why is that? Maybe these things should be... A little more compressed, so they keep pushing on both sides. Trying to keep it where... Ooh. Maybe these need to be taller so they offer more support. I think that's how it works. Right, these things are a bit too limited in how high up they can go, aren't they? Yeah, so they're just not quite getting the height that they need. My amazing clearance has made a little less amazing with these guys. What if they were just super springy springs? Ultra springy, if you will. So they start out really quite compressed. Uh, okay, because then they're not offering the support that this guy so badly needs. Hmm. Hmm. It looks 
looks pretty good. It's just not quite enough. Maybe the problem is this spacing here. If it were if both these points were in the center, then I could offer it a lot more stability. probably my problem. Alright, let's get rid of most of this and rethink this road. We like that point and we like that point. Allows me to do some nice things like this. Eh? And then you can go up. Ooh, needs to go up a bit more, sadly. That might just be the clearance we need. Ah, it's not quite. Okay, do you think you could come down a bit? That looks more like the clearance we need. Good. Don't worry about the budget, we know all the budget's being spent on the latter part of this. Uh, that's actually not necessary whatsoever if it's going to be like so. Right, holds pretty well, except for something. But what? Hmm, what indeed? Oh, this whole thing falls over to the side for some reason. Hmm. I bet we could solve it like so. Alright. Hey, it looks a lot like a pylon. Pylons are strong, so this too will be strong. Up the daisy. It doesn't have the ropes to keep it in position, but that's less what I'm worried about here. Just want to make sure that it can be stable and rise. Now we put in those good old ropes. I want one here, and uh, I want one roughly the same height around here. Uh, not with these, though. The reasoning behind that thought is pretty sound. I'm glad you agree. I usually have pretty sound thoughts. Ups the daisy. No flinging about this time. Don't worry, those those are just small inconvenient. Oh wow, that's a slightly bigger inconvenience though. What was the problem there though? You just couldn't hold it together. You need to be made of sterner stuff. Up. Oh. Clearance. Clearance. Alright. Perfect. Except for the parts that aren't, but we'll fix those. I wonder if we could just make this out of considerably stronger concrete and call it a day. Still more within budget than Berlin Airport. Wow, it does not like that concrete. Alright, how can I lower the pressure that all that road has taken? Probably with more heavy wooden supports weighing down upon them. That's what I'd ask for. I think this is the opposite of what we need. <laughs> nah, trust me. 
Okay, don't trust me on that one though. So let me think, it's going up, but this is pulling on that, which I think is adding pressure to this, which it doesn't like. I still need to get better at raising these things without them toppling over. Why do they topple over? Well, because their pivots are here, 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 and here, they all just go... So there needs to be something that keeps them there. Yeah, I know it would be better just to raise this part, but I really like raising entire bridges. It just feels right. So I'd rather do that. Hmm. Ooh, had an idea when I thought of that. How about that? Now the pylon actually has cables. Oh wait, no, no. There's a lot of reasons that's going to go wrong. <laughs> I didn't even think about it till it rose, but yes. That provides its own problems. Mm -hmm. Oh! I didn't realize these guys were so aggressively tall. these things bring them up, by the way. Plus 1.38 meters. Ugh, what's... What's in point oh one of a meter? Um, in both directions. Still gonna topple, though, right? Oh, maliciously. Now, what do we do about that? I still like the idea of using rope on both sides, but maybe the rope should go way into the center to offer more centery rope. How is that a problem, though? It should be loosening it and then not actually making it any... Uh... Oh, I guess when the whole thing wants to topple over in this direction, it's adding a lot of pressure onto that. But that can be solved, maybe, with a lot more ropes. Up's the daisy. Fresh idea. No ropes on one side, all ropes on other side. Wow, I'm actually wondering how it manages to topple, given that. That seems weird. to keep you where you are. Yeah, it, is, it does always go to the right. That is a good point. So maybe the only ropes needed are the ones on this side. Let's make them, make them really strong. Okay, well, we face a similar problem now, then. Hmm. incredibly overspend on the ropes and see where that takes us.
Takes us to good places, that's what. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Victory. Oh, that rams right into the truck as well. Now, not only that, but not a lot of stress. Now the important part. Shaving the budget. Wow, I've got dampeners here as well. Ah, crumbs. Makes me wonder if these are even needed. Mm, probably. Trim away one or two of these ropes. Still puts a lot of pressure on there, so I'm not holding my breath. Woohoo, baby! Nice and cheaply does it. But could it be done even cheaper? What if we used crummy rope? Asking the real questions on bridge design. Nice. Now, what if we used less crummy rope? Looking great. Now we skim on the rope on this side. Perfect, man. Why, why did my rope idea not work from the very start? Now we skim on the wood. Oh, we're getting there, wealthy Nigerian prince. By the way, I was re-watching the Contra video. You were there back then. That was six years ago, which is kind of madness. Right, now for the big savings. How big, you ask? How big can you make them? I wonder if that'll even work. That thing's just kind of... It's amazing it's even working there. Oh, sure, I'll take it. Okay, now to skimp on all of this. And, uh build supports for this for 10 grand or under. But, come on, it's it's a simple shape. We should be able to do it fine with mostly wood. Oh, boy. Okay, it's going to need to be uh, a lot of mostly wood. I wonder if I can start by making you out of wood. Oh, yeah, um... If I say start there, we should well and truly start there. Good enough. Now, all of this. Big savings to be done. This does not bode well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, sadly, paper mache is not available to us here. Can you support that? Better believe it can. Still, though, uh, something's got to be done to, to cheapen out here. I bet, you know, I bet this stuff doesn't even need to be supported, most of it. Um, maybe we don't need you at all, actually, because this is plenty supported by the hydraulic itself. bridge under. Not so much that it can't handle it. 
watching. This is only the second level, isn't it? Well, don't worry about it. What if we cheaped out even more with the string and made you out of wood? Asking the real questions. The answer is mostly good. We just need to make you out of uh, slightly more expensive concrete. That is regrettable, but teaches me something interesting. You seem to work if we just have a little bit of crummy rope there. Maybe a slightly longer bit of crummy rope. It's alright, the, the rope has a little bit of give to it. Just enough to keep it there. Okay, great, now operations save money. I have a feeling that shortening these is going to be deadly for the bridge. I don't actually understand why taller supports help... Uh, mitigate all the pressure on the bridge, but seems to, so, so I'll take it. But whatever saves me the wood budget wins me the bridge. Ah, uh, see, not happening. Up you guys go again, and I try desperately to find somewhere else to save that dosh. Okay, what if we didn't have this? We still have three other things pushing this bridge up. Okay, what if we did have it, but we didn't have both of you? Oh. Mm. Yeah, I haven't looked at cheapening out in the bottom cables, this is true. There's a lot of money to be saved there, I just wouldn't believe for a second that they could handle the pressure. Well, I'm gonna have to believe it, because they can. You can see them glowing red with the stress, but they take it. Now I just need to make a few pinpoint reductions in cost. Mm. Mm. I wonder if this could be made of wood. Uh, well, maybe that'll work. Uh, rope's not cheap enough, try wood. Nope, rope it is. Is rope cheaper than steel? About half the price. Hmm. Alright, just a little bit more money and we're good. I wonder if this could be made of rope as well. It cannot. Oh, you made a, oh, you made a wood before, so that's a waste of time. Why do I even have you doing that? Why? Hmm? Why don't I get rid of all of that? Make a wood bit like you, and then have you come up like that. Arthur is saying this is madness, but no, this is Polybridge 2. Yet another victory. Added onto the list. There we go. And uh, because we were the tightest on the budget, we excel in another kind of way. I quite like this design. I wanted to raise the whole bridge, and I did. Now, I did it with some semi submerged pylon. Teetering on this rope. But it did. It really did. I'm sure there's other cheapening out to do. Would have been better to build a whole different design. Probably one that just barely flapped up here. Or even... I wonder if I could just have it go up, but it, uh, it comes down here. I wonder if I could even make it sag here with springs. I was looking at that with you before. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, we win. 
How do I just advance level? I always have to play this out for some reason. World menu. Let's keep moving. Oh, that was the third level. What was the second? Probably something I beat so quickly it didn't even register. What's happening here then? We have a limousine and the Arkansas Chugabug. What do they do? Well, a whole lot of not much. Lucky for them. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Trap door, huh? Limousine needs to get to the bottom bit. Chugabug needs to get to the top bit. So just vroom, vroom. I wonder. On you go. Maybe if you're made of something a bit better. It's alright, it can be hold, held in place with a force. I believe it's called surface tension. Yeah, but the limousine's probably too heavy for it. Oh well. Ah, but what if it was supported with a rope? Looking good, Jimbo. Ah, bit too saggy-aggy there. Ah, but what if you were the supported part? And let's move this support over here. Yes, sir, we laid the concrete precisely to specification. Good enough. Now I need to find a way to get you up there. I'll figure it out. Anyway, that was just a thought exercise. What do we have? We don't have hydraulics. UA5 PGs. This thing weighs 4.5 PGs, so not a big difference in weight. Taller. The wheels are slightly bigger. Hmm. I'm having a thought. It does happen every now and then. I wonder if you can actually go over something like that. Oh Christ, no, don't fill it up with that. Let's use our powers of imagination here. Can you get up that? Somewhat, sure. Good, good, keep going. And mm, we'll get there. I think it's moving. It is not moving. Oh, that's a disappointment. Alright, let's flatten you out a bit. Got it. I can see it all now. Uh, I need you to hit something that brings this thing here. Something 
like so. Can it ram into springs? I learned this one from Danganronpa 3. Ah, that doesn't work the way I thought it would. Okay, what if there was a a road of sorts like this that you could mash yourself into? More, more, more! Ah. Maybe spring is a bad idea. I could make it out of wood so it'd be more rigid. Kind of good. Just needs to be kind of better. Oh! No! Alright, what if you were a bit longer? A bit stronger? Mm, what? How? Oh, I guess hitting into that didn't do the bottom bridge any favors. Up, 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 up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah, dang. This thing needs to be made stronger, but I don't have the budget for stronger. What if all this was weaker? Oh, yeah, Christ, I'm using all this expensive stuff here. Screw the budget. The wood and the steel, they have no mass. It's only the joints that have mass. This needs to be smoother. The pivot needs to swing it more. It would swing it more if the pivot were more like here. Come on! Ooh, double dang. Can I have it heavier on this side, perhaps? Or I could have it more fixed in place of the spring. That way it won't go down too far. A bit much there, sunshine. Come across as too keen. Lanhari was saying that these are his favorite streams. That's so cute. But I can't help but feel it's wrong. It doesn't give me enough customization like so. Wait, not starting compressed. Start stretched. Brings it down too much. It's going to shatter. Okay, perhaps neutral's fine there. Just something so that it doesn't come down too f far. Mm, it's not good enough. That's still pushing it up too much, isn't it? That brings it down too much. Maybe the spring idea is a bad idea. What did we have before the spring? Pretty good, but it went too far. Ooh. Oh. Just go. <laughs> Don't tell me we need dampeners. I'm hearing dampeners. to stop it swinging too far. Maybe someday there'll be a bridge-related problem that I can't solve with dampeners. 
Dark Young just says, oh no, not again. Yes, Dark Young, again. Oh, we're almost there. This thing just needs to come out a bit more. Oh boy, that looks promising and a half. Oh god, it's just not strong enough. Right, but that's okay. We just make this a bit more rigid. And then suddenly it will be strong enough. I was rooting for this to work until now. Oh, very silently. Dang, what's causing this to fall apart? Perhaps it's not straight enough. Don't know why I made this bendy to begin with, but there you go. Complete with dampeners, of course. Oh wow, how did that shatter? No matter how, what matters is that it did shatter. Mm, but this has been repositioned now. It was good before, now it's not. Let's just make it stronger. Yeah, I've played Baba as you. Good game. Even completed it. I mean, I didn't 100% it because I'm not a madman, but still, it was good enough for me. Right, this still doesn't go down far enough, does it? I wonder if we could just bring this way down. Oh ho ho, that's smooth as it gets! Son of a gun. What was the problem there? Right, slow down, what's happening here? You get on the seesaw, oh, but the seesaw's being pushed down too much by your enormous weight. I really do think that the answer is uh, a spring. Help it absorb that impact a bit more. Yeah, jeez. that down too much, doesn't it? <laughs> Way too much. I just want to absorb a bit of the shock, not... Uh... Okay, here's the thing. It comes fleeing down here too much. dampeners at this point. But the dampeners do stop it from, well, might stop it from flying down here too much. So maybe the answer is actually more dampeners. Turn off triangulation for these. At least dampeners are nice and cheap. Too dampened, you say? Too many dampeners. Okay, what if these were actually made of springs so it was less. I think I tried that before. I feel like I tried that before, but we'll try it again. Oh, wasn't that bad. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. We have the solution here, it's just a case of fine tuning. solution. 
How did I slip over? That looked really good aside from that. Hmm. Let's go back a bit to when we had a working solution like so. Switch out one like so and see what happens there. Because that should spring it over that way a bit better. Bold of you to assume Jake's goal isn't to make a ridiculous bridge. Nothing ridiculous about this bridge. Alright, what if we reinforce you like so? Hang on, I just had a thought. But I'm not sure I like it. What if you weren't there? And this just shoves that whole thing over. Close-ish. Ah, uh, now it's not working so well, uh, so well anymore. Alright, let's go back to something we had that worked fairly well. Just try and refine from there a bit. Alright, this works really, really well. Problem is, right here, because when you hit that, the whole thing swings down and I have nothing preventing that. Except for my dampeners, but my dampeners couldn't quite cut it. Because now it, oh crumbs, I keep thinking that spacebar is start and stop, but it is not. P is, of course. Good. Not good, broken, smash. And it still feels like that could be solved with just a really weak spring. Like a very weak spring. Maybe a slightly stronger spring. Yeah, now see, you're not doing it for me. As if there was ever, ever any doubt that this would work. Now we just need to cheapen. And I can do cheap. How much can I save by just getting rid of all of this? I can save all the money by doing that. Oh, yeah, triangulation. The triangulation's good to have back on. Just needs to hold. Oh, and this, I suppose, needs to hold against the pressure as well, but of course it does. And then it's just a case of cheapening out a little bit more. Eastern European concrete, don't save me now. Uh, don't fail me now, rather. I do need you to save me. I know that jealousy breeds contempt, so a lot of people won't like this solution. But I really like it. And it's better than what Shadow can do, and it's better than what Marvin can do. So, dare I say, that was pretty good. I want to see it again. Aww. Well, I do really want to see it again, so let's look at it. As soon as I knew I didn't have hydraulics, I knew that a seesaw could do the trick. Just a case of getting this just right so that it could mount that, not flip it round. <laughs> How is that even helping? Well, help it does. You want to see other boring designs? Alright, who do we have from 1906 Jacko? A lot of strings involved. Over the car goes. 
Plong. Oh, hey. Wait, did something snap there? Something caused this to suddenly fall down. I wonder what. Interesting solution. Actually, I'm very interested in what caused that whole thing to come down so easily. Maybe I can take a closer look at it. I think he's got some kind of road set up, holding on to rope there. And when you get there, you hit the road. Ah, when you hit the road, you pulled the string, which pulled that down. Very nice. Wouldn't have thought of that, but now I do. <laughs> I used the limo as a ramp. That's also quite cool. All right, doesn't matter though. We're done here. Onwards to the next level, the Triple Decker Drawbridge. You can see friends only if you select it. As in friends only solutions. Do I always have to rewatch this every time? I mean, it's great, but I don't want to make other people feel bad over how great my solution is. Other player solutions, view and gallery, uh, friends. Disappointed? Just disappointed. Okay, onwards and upwards. Let's look at the triple decker dropage then. We do have hydraulics this time. First the hydraulics kick in to let this thing pass, then the hydraulics D kick in. Interesting. One, two, three, one, two, three. So they don't need to change levels. Fascinating. I wonder if I could just make them all come together. No, they all have to go at the same time, don't they? Explains the vast amount of money I have. I have a feeling this thing's gonna really lack support. But that's probably okay. something daft like this. Well, that wouldn't cut it, but you see what I'm getting at? How would that even work? Well, not well to begin with. Imagine a world where it worked really well. I think you're going to pull this thing up. I guess you're never going to pull it. No, no, you should be able to meet like there. And you come up and you come up. Is this the problem? Surely not. Although it does kind of sag down, doesn't it? Dude, I need you to hold together here. There we go. Mm, not quite, not quite. But why not? Maybe because you need to be connected to something like you. Oh, hey, that almost works. So what if it were even more connected like so? Oh, kind of. 
Actually, why is that breaking? case it doesn't like it. So close. Right, works up top, so I should probably just do something like that and that. And then that gives you the clearance. Unfortunately, it's not good enough. It's far from good enough. closer. going to be going on with this. Hmm. Could do it all... Yeah, I could do it multi... Ro uh, ramping up again. I reckon this has to be the side that does all the pulling up because this is where it can get the extra support from and this can just kind of suss itself out. So this just needs to support itself extremely well. like that. Yeah, that grudge is going to, uh, that bus is going to decimate this. How are they going to handle that? Probably not well. Well, surprisingly well. As long as it links up with all this, I think it's going to be doing just fine. Let's get rid of all this superfluous stuff. Save on the budget, of course. Is this even needed? Of course not. Now, to suss this out properly. Also, a lot of this is... Eh, it looks alright, but not too fond of that stuff. Now... One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. How to pull you up. around here. You need to get off of that. As long as these were held on to you, they'd be okay, I'm quite certain. Uh, quite certain. But actually, why do they dangle so much? Hmm, they just want to, I suppose. Good enough. Wait, what? That's one way to look at it. Yeah, no, that's never gonna work. Even my unbreaking solution for the last level is cheaper than Jake's. Doesn't matter, Marvin. If you put up your cheapest one as your breaking one, it won't be acknowledged. By me, that is. Yeah, that seems fine. You know, given that they hold together so well, why not just do something like this? Really? Oh, uh... Like that, of course. And that one's fine. Honestly, could they not all go up like that? They could if they all had this part as high as you do.
that, get rid of that, bring you over there. Alright, before this all breaks apart, do we have any problems? Uh, yes, you. Otherwise, that too. Guess that was a bit more necessary than I thought. Likes it at the top, doesn't like it so much anywhere else. I'm actually at a slight loss to explain why. The bottom parts feel like they'd be more supported. Mm, looks very similar. <laughs> None like that either. Okay, what's the problem? What if we didn't have these? Would it still hold? No, because these things fall down, so they need better, much better support from something like you. I bet this is the solution. Give them the extra support they need. Oh. You bring it a lot higher, because you're aiming a lot further. These guys still suffer for it. Do we need better concrete? Better concrete weighs more on my monetary conscience. Really? Is that it? Oh, okay. Okay, maybe uh, slightly better concrete has its merits. We can cheapen out a lot on this one if it works. Seems to be a bigger if than I gave it credit for. that pressure unsuccessfully because when it gets to the center man it feels it how can I help with that I could probably use ropes to keep these poor guys at bay just add a little bit of extra support for them Hey, bus has got it sorted. It's just these poor guys that need a bit of extra help. I guess these bottom bits of road are also supporting all the pressure that comes down from here with very little ways to dissipate it. So do something like that. She'll be able to, poo, uh, to feel some of that pressure. Dampeners, obviously. Oh yeah. Dampeners haven't let me down before. Why would they do so now? Why not just use better road? Good concrete is very expensive. Good. At least for this area, once it gets over the bridge, it's got much better everything going for it. Which might make this unnecessary. Hopefully, because then I'll be on budget. Still feels the pressure. Whoa, still feels a whole heap of that pressure. thought. We can set up something here, can't we? You, you do absolutely nothing, I think. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm 
certain there's some extra expenses being uh, used there. Mm. I have an idea. No one's going to like it, but I already do. delay you a bit so there's less um, pressure on the bottom. It's too fast. Mm, maybe you're the wrong one to delay. This counts as a dampener. <laughs> oh, okay, right. So I was wrong. You are the problem. Well, I was also right. You are the problem. Hmm. Hang on. Didn't I solve the... A truck problem with a bit of rope before. Kind of. Also, I think I've had another idea. There's no way this thing could support the the bus being here. Okay, what if you both had dampeners? Good. Good. Come on, truck. Ah, uh, he was too dampened. Also, this dampener breaks. Okay, okay. Come on, man. It's not a lot. He's not getting through that. The curse of the dampening. I look away for two seconds and we're back to dampener, says Bandy. Yes, we are. Okay, just try to lose that height. Get down to the ground. Go under the dampener. Come on, man. Don't let me down like this. Ah, jeez. What does it take? I guess a shorter dampener. Oh boy! As usual, it works, but it needs to be made cheaper. Um, Alright, time for Martin's Money Saver Tips. Many things aren't truly needed in life. Um, I bet I made a lot of things way too expensive over here. Oh, that's suddenly a lot of pressure that they're feeling. Miracle of the universe, this bridge. Now, what else can be saved? You know, looking at it, I bet a lot of these things aren't actually helping the structural integrity of this. Come to think of it, are any of these even necessary? They're all supported from the bottom, after all. As usual, I know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to bridges. It's in the blood. Now, how about some of you being regarded as superfluous? 
triangulate you with wood instead. Man, this is a treasure trove of free money. If I just keep trimming away at the thing. Oh wow, look at these losers! <laughs> look at big money bags over here. Alright, I'm confident there's yet more savings to be done here, but I'm just going to do that and call it a day. I don't want to polish myself so hard that everybody's going to be blinded just by looking at my solutions here. Oh, you just had to say that, didn't you, John? Can't beat g -Pick. Nemesis g -Pick. He's like ten grand cheaper than me. Alright, what can be done to stop the unstoppable g -Pick? Could cheapen out on a lot of road. Well, that already causes problems. These probably need to be strong to to make up for that, but maybe not all of it's so strong. Hey, I've got all evening to cheapen out on my bridges, do you? A lot of the roads down here, well, you're needed, but I think a lot of these are. They don't need that expensive Western European concrete whatsoever. Just the parts there that take all the pressure. Hell, you don't even need it. What about you? Mm. Can only allow about 30% Ukraine on this bridge. Okay, looks good, but we still got another like six grand to trim off of this thing, and the concrete's no longer an option. Alright, what else is not really needed? We don't really need central supports like you, everything else. Mm -hmm. This rope, I believe, is pretty vital, because without it, as soon as that bus hits, it's going to collapse the top, I believe. But if it doesn't, that's good saving on rope. It is not. However, I have a funny feeling that a shorter amount of rope... How about that? I'm going to put that under shouldn't work but does. What if it were shorter? Yeah, it needs to be that long. Still, bit of savings there. Yeah, we can do similar savings that we did on the left, on the right here. Get rid of all that redundant wood. There's still some reinforced on the middle at the D3.1 mark. You mean reinforced concrete? Uh, these are needed. Oh, and let. Oh, right. Jings, it was covered up with that. Probably not necessary. War Zelda must be from Ukraine. They know how to cheapen out in the roads. All right, we're close. I can taste it. How much closer can we go, though? What if we didn't really have steel there and instead... You oh, God, that wood is burning! And it doesn't even have the vehicles on it yet. God's ready to catch fire, but it didn't. Okay, where else can we cheapen out? You're not necessary. I doubt either of you are necessary. I mean, really. These are probably too tall. Nobody needs to be that tall. Oh, wow, what a difference that makes. But I bet only the end part needs to be that tall. The rest of these can be really, really short. Oh, what? 
I'm in awe at how much that makes a difference. Somebody really doesn't like my dampeners. It sucks to be them. I bet we could get rid of one of these dampeners, like the longest, most expensive one, and it'll still work. Because the limousine gets delayed for quite a long time. Oh, ho, ho, no. No, turns out the longest was the most important one, as is often the case. That taxi, its power level's too high, needs to be stopped. Okay, looking for redundancies now. Getting real tight on them. Some might say that these are unnecessary. But then without this, I have a feeling that's gonna cause problems. <laughs> Still got another grand to save, I believe, to get on G-Pix level. Spicy. Yeah, another grand and G-Pick is out of here. What if we just cheapen off here and here? Mm, just one of them? Mm, both of them. this stuff in the center really needed. Yeah, I think we've been over that one. I feel like that's a little too precise, don't you? We could make good savings on the hydraulics by bringing them a little close. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I could save on the wood on you guys by bringing you down. for most of it. Just a few hundred more and G-Pick will be eaten dirt. Okay, I spy some redundancies. These two are feeling no pressure. Oh wow, well I guess they were just allowing something else to feel pressure. Hmm. Tough crowd. What if we got rid of you and replaced it with that? Compare your bridge to mine, G-Pick, and cry yourself to sleep. What a fantastic triple-decker drawbridge that is. I'm no tryhard, so I'm not feeling the need to topple Muzilla off of their throne. There are only so many egos I can crush in one day. So let's move forward mightily. Safety gap. With a sweet buggy thing. Off it trots into the sink. Now what do we do here? Ah, well, how far can you get? Very not far. Oh boy, that's not good. But, I can immediately see the solution. I'm gonna put you like so. Do you like so? Maybe a bit more saggy. Don't wanna make it too saggy, because it's gonna get extra. Okay, now can I copy-paste you? Kind of. Uh, no, but I can't move it into the area that I've created. That's a bit of a bummer. Oh well, this will be a bit repetitive, but so so what? Wait, what was that? I think that was triangulated. This thing's got uh, big wheels and good suspension. It'll make it over this, no problem.
So you might have thought, no, Jake's not going to stand a chance that these later levels are going to get so much harder, but the thing is I'll get even better at bridge building the further we go. And there's a cap on how hard these levels will get, but no cap on how good I can get at building a bridge. It's in the blood. Did he ever touch the mirror tool? I wouldn't trust the mirror tool with this. Genius unabated. Can't probably even spare ourselves a wee bit of road. There we go! Down you go, sunshine. Now, these guys are clearly too, uh, too stretched out. Or, not stretched out enough, I guess. So this should cause them to recoil a bit more. And hold the whole thing together. Mm. I don't like that apparently. Perhaps it needs to be more rec wow. Snaps like a banjo there. What if it were at 30? That still sags a bit too much. Hmm. I wonder if I could just replace these with steel and call it a day. Nice, forgiving steel. Almost. If those parts were steel and the rest of this were springs, though. Uh, naturally a bit more stretched. <laughs> I do like Jake's idea of almost. So close, but so weak. Triangulate. Except not on that side of the springs, please. <laughs> right, so maybe, just maybe, I shouldn't have skimped on that bit of extra road. If we do the same thing, but use more road, more and better road, and we should be a shoe in to win. Uh, whoops, that's triangulating. Way mark in all of this. Not sure if there is one. It's going to be difficult to fit dampeners into this, but maybe we'll find a way. Jake, would you ever consider casting another dev clash? I certainly would. I really enjoy casting. Gives me energy. Which brings me to an interesting thing I like to think about. There are things you enjoy, but then there are things that truly give you energy. Alright, almost there. This last part might be a little bit shy though. Oh, it's a lot shy. Well, I guess for the very end you can just have... God even knows. There, enjoy. <laughs> Not even close. All right, what if these uh, these guys worked a little harder at their jobs?
Does building horrifying bridges give you energy? A lot. Do you enjoy it? Also a lot. I love these kind of games. I don't play them often, evidently. If I did, I might be better at them. But does it really matter if you're good or not at them? If you truly love doing it? Probably. Probably still matters quite a lot. Man, where's that guy even going off to? Alright, you know what? Screw the whole springs idea. Never needed it. Never even began to need it. There's nothing loads of steel can't solve. Uh, where am I even going to be going with this one? How much distance do we have to make up? Whatever it is, we need to divide it by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 30 of those. Well, 30 of the squares at least, so about 3 squares of uh, steel each time. Oh no, no, we don't want this, bye bye. I still think the springs were a great idea. Probably the best way to do it. Mm, probably better than that. Done without error, but also with too much money. Let's try and absolve some of that. Some of these just feel like way too redundant. But they do need to go somewhere, don't they? What's not feeling the stress right now? None of that is, so away you go, and away you go. to trim off a little bit more and we're Gucci. Or replace some bits of wood, also Gucci. All these short bits can probably be replaced with wood. Ah, see, works like magic. Something very calming about playing this game, isn't there? I'm sure there are other relatively long bits that could still be woodened out, or... Done like so. Hmm, <laughs> mind the gap. Although I bet we don't need this incredibly expensive concrete for it. Feel bad going to Ukraine. What are some impoverished nations that have fairly high outputs of concrete? Need a better example. Nicely done. And better than Marvin, but uh... He probably over-engineers his solutions. What a shame. Do we have any of our friends that have managed a solution for us? You gallery, friends... That's all I can do to shake my head, guys. Shake my head. Wales! Really? Wales exports a lot of concrete? How about that? G-Pick, doing pretty well, as we've come to expect from the man himself. I could probably cheapen out a lot with the supports here, but I'm happy enough with what we have. Actually, I'm left wondering if these can be replaced with wood. Let's just try two, for example. Mm, looks promising. It's not big savings, but savings are savings. I 
bet the whole framework here could be done in wood instead of metal. It's not a heavy car that we're trying to support here. No, not that heavy. It adds up, it sure does. <laughs> not by a lot though, oh, but a little bit more and we could beat Shadow. I'll admit there's something I really like about beating Shadow. Perfect, we'll go with that. Wow, North Macedonia! <laughs> ah, that reminds me of that North Macedonian guy that comes into chat every now and then. Gives me a giggle just thinking about him. Okay, onwards. 4-7, the big spender. We're not even halfway through here. Right, 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 right. You're not driving any oil for Neptune this time. Uh, what was the name of this? The name is usually a hint about what's going on. Big Spender. I guess the implication here is that we can't spend a lot of money, and I'm down for that. I just need to make something like this. Arc it low, dip it low. Fill it full of the cheapest North Macedonian concrete we can find. And... Give it that. Oh, we almost worked. Um... This stream is not sponsored by the Greek Tourism Board, but it might someday be. Let's get some rid of some redundancies around here. It's not holding up so well around here. I think the shapes of these are all off. And as we've learned, if it goes longer down, it's much more stable. for expensive concrete. But we'll try a little bit of it and see if it makes a difference. Looks good. Oh, ho, ho. Cheeky bugger. Real cheeky bugger. Let's try just a little subtle change here. Still though, we're big spending here, and we can't afford to be a big spender. Look at these redundancies here. Nice, a little bit of savings and we're home free. Mind you, when you've got so little going for your bridge, could be a tall order. Did this always not exist? I wonder if other parts of it could not exist. Hmm. Let's tighten it up a bit. The left hand side seems relatively okay. This guy feels a lot of the burn there. Right, still need to save a grand and a half on this some way, somehow. Still think we could cheapen out on the concrete, just a touch. It's just that cheap concrete is such a huge saving in the game. <laughs> and immediately we are punished for such ideas. Alright, you know what, I'm getting rid of all of it and I'm just making a tighter one of you. Oh, shoot. Helps if I actually fill it in. How's that budget? 
budget-wise. Mm, maybe it's okay, maybe it's not okay. Soon find out. Whoa, <laughs> forget the budget, doesn't even work. I don't want to be a big spender anymore. How's it all falling apart so hard when it didn't before? Maybe the top side's a bad idea then. If it's on the bottom side, it can be supported by the rock at the bottom and by the sides. On the top, it's only by the sides. Racing pretty much never works and you have the grid on, says GPIC. Well, that's a dang shame. So what you're saying is we should have grid off and bring this thing over as well as connected to all this stuff so it won't go anymore, will it? Huh. That's as close as, as it will get. Hmm, hardly. Doesn't really solve the problem though. This thing is far less durable than it was before. What was that shape we had that worked quite nicely? Yeah, there we go. Sagging down harder worked well for us. Alright, now well, that's a mistake we make. Sag more, not less. Pentagram. Those are probably often used in uh, in works of engineering. Known for their robust qualities. You shouldn't be connected at that side, I feel. Down she goes. Can she make it up? Ah, oh, it's painful. That's yeah, really rather painful. There still need to be some savings made, but oh well, not there evidently. Can't believe it held so well with that, but not with anything else. Yet, and yet, it's not enough. I'm going to be quite interested in any solution to this. Hold on. What do you guys even do? Get away. Let's go back to the solution that worked. And get rid of these probably redundancies. I wonder if I could get rid of all that and just do something like so. I would assume it would be a problem with wigwagging too much from side to side, but no, well, there's still a problem there, evidently. Ropes are indeed an option. I'm strongly considering them now. Right, too tight. Far too tight. So let's ease that up a bit. Fill it up with road again. And then consider what we can do from here. I mean, hey, why not try the ropey option? How do you like that? Not very much. But maybe you'll like it a bit more if I simply apply myself. Ah, too expensive, too fast as usual. Dang, that actually looked sturdy, but no. Hey, 
You might think that's insane. And looks like you'd be right. I look so off center. Our stronger rows just too expensive. They are very, very expensive. Replacing all this with strong road brings us almost 30% over budget. It does work, though. I'll give you that. It does work. What if it worked without support? Wouldn't that be nice? What if the only thing we had to support was here in the center? Ah, you know, I think it shows a bit of promise. I still think it shows a bit of promise. like holding here, does it? Hmm. Okay. What if there was no sagging? What if we just had a straight road? A really good Welsh concrete. Too short. Are you telling me that some sagging is necessary? I think it is. Okay then, it's going to be the least saggy thing you've ever seen. Barely sagging at all. Actually, I don't need to do it like that. I can have a straight line. I just tell you to be straight, then I fill you in, and it will make it equidistant for me. Perfect, in a manner of speaking. Mm -hmm. This is already getting way too woody. <laughs> the middle is not the issue. Marvin can't contain himself. when something just ain't right. Alright, now if I can make enormous savings in the middle, then I still won't be able to cut this, but... What if the middle is just a red herring? Now to save an outrageous amount of money. Mm. How much taller can we make you and still stay uh, intact? That's a lot of pressure, but I feel like it could be a little bit more pressure and be okay. And then I'll just trim down that center bit for all its redundancies. Aww. All right, that's about as tight as we can make the top. Now to do away with some of this stuff. Ooh, ho, ho, not bad, but it's still too expensive. Can you replace the central bridge parts with cheaper roads, says Max. It's all cheapest road already. All right.
mind. I need some kind of shape here that makes me save a lot of money somehow. Go for the old diamond shape. Doesn't like the diamond. What if the central part of here had lower bits of wood? Oh yeah, it also needs to be connected. Ooh, I don't even know what went wrong there, but something clearly did. It's still wildly over budget though. And rope is not cheaper than wood, in case you're getting that idea. Hmm. How to cheapen out here? Come on, cheapening out should be my specialty. A good old pentagon shape. Not quite enough, this gave. What if it wasn't there to give? Hmm. Even if I get this enormously thinned out, it's not going to be enough. What's even the problem there? He doesn't want to do it on one stick then, does he? Hmm. Alright, straight line with stick in middle's not doing it. What will do it then? That seems like a bad idea. Seems like a very bad idea. But what if it was a good idea? What if we just do something like this? And then we don't waste time or distance getting to the bottom part. Hmm, yeah, it's not being really held in place by anything, is it? However, what if it was? Starting bit isn't happy, is it? Probably because of the shape of the triangles below it, they're not exactly great at dispersing that load. I still think I might be onto something here. I like how you talk about dispersing the load with a single stick carrying all the load. <laughs> I do try. Okay, one thing I haven't really given a serious shake at is this rope, though. Hmm. I guess one idea is to do the sagging again. Too much sagging, or else I can't make it back up. Fill it with good old bits of road. And I use quite a bit more rope this time. Rope is savagely expensive. A 
that should really help keep things up a bit here. Now, if I can just reinforce this thing for about one and a half grand. Oh. Hmm. Still think that center shape here is really good for keeping it all standing. I mean, look, it does great until this big old truck comes in. Maybe if we just had that, but with glorious Welsh cement. feels so close to holding. So close to holding. Well, that's pretty fantastic, but it's also pretty extremely expensive. What if we cheapen out on this? Taking completely the opposite approach as what I had before. 15, 12, 9, 7, 4, 1. Well, this is going to be awkward. What's the most useless stick here? I bet I could ram you up and ram you up. And <laughs> not the engineer, I need my money. Okay, I got $26 left over from all of that. Scared to think how Meowzilla managed that on half the budget of everybody else. But what's even more terrifying is being outdone by Shadow, so let's rectify that. Hmm, I like those extra bits. you. Yeah, they weren't told, they weren't taking any of that. Sweet, there must be other stuff that's not really being taken, like you. Ah. Key to dispersing it. Okay, where else isn't taking any real pressure? Kind of feel like uh, you and you aren't. Nah, you were allowing other things to take it. How about you? Curses. Mm. Alright, I might have to settle for 13,292. Mm. Somewhat unsatisfying because a certain G picker. Seems to think he can outdo me. That's my duty to correct him. <laughs> Jings, okay. Jammiest fourteen dollars I've ever seen. Let's just make this a little tighter. Marvelous, fan. Oh no, no, it's not. It's the same amount of money. Hmm. Marvelous, fantastic considerably better than almost anybody out there. I don't know how Meowzilla did it though. Ooh. But it bothers me that I could beat all the others if I just cheapen out a little bit more. And I do like to cheapen out. Mm. I 
comes a point where you're probably just being obsessed. And we're probably reaching it. Yeah. <laughs> Trust Ice Bear to say I think you should leave it at that and move on. But there must be somewhere we could make a hell of a saving. You know, just 200 squid. Hmm. Are these really needed? Truly? Mm, very. <laughs> yeah, get rid of the wood. Trust me. <laughs> I just feel like this is a big overexpenditure, but I have tried to trim back on these for just a little bit, and that's all it takes to make the whole thing come crumbling down. So unless all of these could be made so much tighter, I doubt this will work, but you know what? It does does fail, that is. Jake, where are the ropes? No ropes on this one. We can have ropes, but I didn't really want ropes. Ropes are expensive. I wonder if I can just tighten these bits up. Oh yeah, no, trucks are not allowed to haul anything across my bridge. And they all need to have the absolute lightest drivers imaginable. It's like getting a cox for a rowing boat. Remember the... hang on, I've had a brilliant idea. Which of these sides is the cheapest? Is it you? Six two nine four versus six three five nine four. Get rid of you, take you, copy you, rotate you, and do that. My god, how? How is that a problem? Always with the asymmetry. And it's also four dollars more expensive here. All right, um, I'm willing to give the victory here to Ice Bear and Lento Banani. Lento Banani. We got any other player solutions around here? In particular, friends. What about friendly failures? What's with these disappointing friends of mine? Okay, onwards. Halfway with Thread the Needle. Looks like we need to send this thing through a needle. Hmm. Do we really, though? Can't you just, I don't know, land on this thing and drive over it? Can oh hmm. So you need to get over that thing first, huh? Hmm. Never the 
biggest fan of these. You know, pretty close. What if you were just able to make it a bit further? How would you like that? Now this is 4-8 right here. Whoa, holy moly, that's not bad. How far, how far did you get there? Uh, not too shabby at all. Sure, it's over budget, but I'm also using far too many uh, expensive materials here. Don't sweat it. I know I'm not. Mm, there's a little too much going on there. Ah, but you see, the problem is we're snapping. Subtle adjustments, less than subtle results. No, you, you landed too low there, didn't you? What's the problem here? Probably ramping up too fast. Well, let's get rid of you. Let's edit you slightly. Yeah, I don't like you whatsoever. Um... I perhaps do want some snapping on for. Ah, way too low. certainly made it better than what we're doing here. Perhaps we just need a bit more coming out here. If it just arrives here, I could at least catch the thing and bring it in. So it makes me think, well, why don't we just go back to that part where I had a somewhat working solution. Oh man, now I don't know which one of these worked. One of these got through this thing though. Maybe it was before I added more bits to it. Without a doubt, it was not. That was the best one we had. Now, if I just get it to land on something here with a lot of shock absorbing, we're Gucci. That's fine. certainly did. Where did that land? Mm. Oh, it needs to get in there. Ah. 
Hmm. Hmm. Wellity well then. How do you like that then? Oh, you don't like that very much. So saggy. Actually, that looks pretty good. Because if it lands down here, then that's less of a problem for me. All I really need is just something that can ramp up here. <laughs> that shock maybe needs absorbed a little bit better. better. Going face first into the road probably isn't good for the road. Ah, I'm sure the road can handle it. I'm sure better road could handle it better though. <laughs> okay. Different approach. Something like so. Looking good. Come on. Got big wheels, you can handle it. Oh wow, that really doesn't like being there, does it? If I put that there, does that do anything? No, I suspect it as such. But that does. Int. I'm almost 200% budget here. I still can't even catch this thing. There we go. Now we just need to do that with a considerably lower budget. Did it even need this, by the way? Yes and no. Mostly yes. Borderline ideal, but this poor thing snaps. What's stronger than steel? The answer is cable, maybe. Mm. Maybe a spring there might be good on absorbing the shock. Whoa, what? Snap that string. Well, st oh wow, it doesn't. That is very good at uh, gathering that. Okay, then it's time to do the good old cheapo routine. Good. Now I'm sure not all these springs are mandatory. Good. 
Now, how about you? There's a lot of cheapening out that can be done here, so let's do it. I mean, look at how unnecessary all this steel probably is. Why do with, uh, with wood what you can do quite cheaply with ah, crumbs? I don't want to change the road at all. Right, rectangles. Rectangles are strong. Maybe some steel is good. Alright, maybe go back to where we had a lot of steel. And just be a little bit more... A little bit more something. Perhaps start by replacing short bits of steel with short bits of wood. A victory before you know it. It's still snapped though. But it wouldn't snap if it wasn't there. Everything else would. Okay, what else is redundant? Probably you. And, um... Probably you. By extension, you. And then, probably you as well. And... Do we really need all of that? The answer is we do not. What else do we not need? You? You were kind of necessary. How about you and you? You're being held up elsewhere. No, because this still needs to be connected. But what if you were just slightly closer to there? Then you wouldn't like it. It's good, but why do I, why do I feel this sense of we could be better? Oh, wait, what? That changes the game slightly. Okay. Well, we can handle that, because it's under 12,000. And, oh! Sorry, Darth Air. Sorry, Ice Bear. Not really that sorry, Shadow or Marvin. And what was Alpha Gamo doing? Probably trying to make it look like some kind of cat face with his solution. Did any of them upload them? Alright, I'm used to being disappointed by my friends. I did upload mine, it just doesn't work. Well, even including fails, it didn't uh, didn't happen there. Maybe I need to restart the game? That wouldn't make any sense, but maybe that's the case. We'll try it. Because it would be quite nice to have uh, friend solutions show up here. We all uploaded, and I can't see anyone else's, says G-Pick. Huh. That is strange. And then I'm wasting my time by closing the game, but oh well. Well, with that, we're halfway through, and it's only taken well, under three hours, so... Maybe if I just pick up the pace and spend less time agonizing over every level, we'll be okay. Come on, come back to me, game. There we go. Hmm. Oh, I like this. Well, then what's with all the stuff underneath it? Oh, wow, that is really cool. Really very cool. I like that a lot. Maybe I can steal some ideas from it. I'll have another check here to see if we can see our friendly solutions. I'm surprised that doesn't count as breaking. View gallery, friends... No, maybe they've pulled support for that, I don't know. Whatever the case, too bad, we move onwards. To nine, the Tipping Tower. We've got a big old bridge, a little bit of support there. No support up top. Interesting, but I think I already see the solution for it. Oh, okay, we only have four bits of road. Dampeners. 
dampeners will save the day. with us already. What angle was that at? 72 degrees. More on the 72, please. Get 72 once more? Maybe I, maybe no, but that doesn't really matter. Um, I want an angle here. I want an angle from here to. Wow, won't let me, won't let me catch on to that. Okay, I think that's what I want to work with here. Oh no, oh no, I got rid of it. Uh, that might not work. Mm. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay, great. Just keep that there. I might need it later. Now, what I'm thinking... Yes, I do do some thinking on these. 72 degrees again, please. 72 degrees again, please. Let's get some actual good bridge. No, not like that. Some actual good bridge built from here to there. back on. And now, the dampening. Oh, we need triangulation not on for this. Dampeners pull it over. The bridge gets on, uh, the bus gets on rather. The bus is heavier than the dampeners. Come on bus, you're still making progress. This thing's still pulling it forward, we just need to get you off of there. This reminds me a lot of my journey to school. Okay, and then the bus is so heavy that it counteracts the dampeners. In a manner of speaking. Okay, so what went wrong there? Something obviously did. I see it all now. The bridge didn't come out, uh, the road didn't come out far enough here. But that can easily be sorted. We get rid of this nonsense. And we add a bit more road on this side. But we still need the dampeners, so we'll put them here. I need more to counterbalance everything at this rate. Okay, more dampeners. Oh no, the dampeners are too slow, kind of. Yeah, hmm. What could be done about that? More dampeners, probably. Come on, faster, faster! Hmm, maybe if you were just a little bit lower, you'd be able to get under the, uh, the front of the bus. Oh, a bit too low. Tonk. Man, that thing 
gets absolutely rammed. Just reinforce you a little bit. This doesn't go across fast enough. Hmm. Perhaps the answer is a few more dampeners. Slam that thing up. Oh, wow. I didn't think there was such thing as too many dampeners, but there you go. Well, um, I guess we can have the dampeners on this side as well. Should still act as a pivot. Faster. Almost fast enough. I think we lost some dampeners there, though. Now, I know how I can fix this, I just don't want to fix it that way. And I know you know how to fix it, too. I just wanted to get it over fast enough that it can catch underneath the... the U. <laughs> Didn't realize you'd clank into the world like that. Do you need more support? Hmm. Right, I think I see. Bus is wrecking my uh, my poor thing here. Okay, okay, all right. We'll do it your way then, game. I don't want to do it this way, but sometimes it's just got to be done. Um, similar thing, but just rotated. going to go over this side fast enough. So maybe not all the way over, but maybe over this much. And it still leaves me room to dampen if the heart wishes to dampen, and it does. Actually, where you're going to swing so far over here that it's not going to go back around. Dampening. Uh huh. Did you see it all crumple like that, disappointingly? There we go. Oh, yeah, this stuff. shoving into there, does it? Maybe, just maybe, my initial angle here is very wrong. Perhaps I need to have it more in line like that, but mm, not sure we like that. Not liking that. idea was still fantastic. Clonk, clonk, clonk. If you're gonna break, let's give you something hard to break. <laughs> Maybe the rest of the thing 
<laughs> Needs to be a little harder to break. Jake, just add more dampeners. Trust me, I want to. I still think it's a good idea. Like a whole thing in general. In the end, we're going to have to have something that swings across. There's nowhere near enough road to get us along normally. <laughs> Steel dampeners? <laughs> no. No, very expensive. the initial thing that worked really well, except for where it didn't. We had something like this, right, didn't we? So close, but what if we got rid of this one problem here? Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, not bad, is it? You're right, it isn't bad. Well... Those ones are having a hard time keeping it together, though. That guy just shatters on impact. Yeah, he feels it all. I'm not sure any amount of springs is going to stop the head-on collision, or will it? What if it could? Alright, bear with me. No, definitely not. Just doesn't swing around fast enough. Is the plan to tilt it once the uh, vehicle is on top of it? Absolutely yes. Maybe the whole thing's a little too high up. What if we just lower all of it a bit? some dampeners. No, of course vehicles don't touch anything but road, and I don't have spare road. Hmm. I mean, I've stopped the braking on impact, but that's not stopping other problems we're having here. Let's get rid of the snapping and just try to position this so it just sneaks under you but without breaking the whole damn thing. Promising. Very promising. Get on there. Now don't go too fast, will you? Not too fast. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Don't tell me there are too many dampeners. Needed. 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. could be onto something here. I'm only allowed four pieces of road, so bridging the gap is asking a little much here. Come on, come on, swing it, swing it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's the problem here? Maybe it needs to be up a bit. Keep going, keep going. It's still moving. The game is not over yet. I don't think this actually pulls it over because it's not far enough to the side here. The only alternative I can really think of is just to bring it way out like that. It needs to be further to the right here than the point of... Wow! Couldn't handle it, huh? Alright, we got plenty more kids where that came from. Now this was alright. Maybe. Maybe the answer is simpler than we're giving it credit for. Counter dampeners. <laughs> no, okay. Hmm. What if the whole thing was a bit more like this? Well, that answers that. Come on, Brit. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. This this was great until it wasn't. just can't quite budget over. And the dampeners are too much. You know, I could do away with the dampeners if it was already rotated to the left, but that just feels like such a cop-out. Is that really what we came here to do? Not have dampeners? Just enough to pull it over. No, no. Oh yeah, good point. We do have rope. I didn't even notice we had access to rope. But I can't imagine how that could help. Because the only thing rope could latch onto is this point or the bridge itself. There's something else to be said for this heading out further. Of course, with more dampeners. Now it leans over quite a bit, but it does mean the bus should be able to bring it over quite a bit further. Once it's on the bridge, that is. And assuming this doesn't snap once again. Hmm. Doing what we gotta do here. Perhaps you need a bit more spring in your step. Yeah, springs can be used to, of course, elevate, not elevate, elongate the amount of road that we have access to. we we'll just get rid of this. Disperses with the pressure and gives us lots of road to work with. A delightful solution. No, oh, more dampeners are needed. It's getting a bit risky though, these dampeners do apply pressure to the main dampening spot. Could add more counter, uh, more dampeners over here. Jinx, 
I just fell apart like a bunch of matchsticks. Okay, I think we're back to square one here. Away with it all, let's do it once again. That still worries me, how little it goes over that side. Because it needs to really be brought over, unless it's dampened so heavily that it starts pooling over and the, uh, the bus gets on it before that can even be a problem. So you get on it, but already the dampening is in effect. Damp until we're out of money to dampen with. These are having very little effect on peeling the whole thing over here. But very little isn't no effect. Come on, just get your nose up there. I wonder if I could do that just by raising the snout a bit. I can taste it. Mm. It's going to blow if that's good enough. Crunch. Ah, oh, man. You know, if the whole arc were taller... Then it wouldn't matter so much. Oh, but if it was taller, the the road wouldn't get over to the side enough. But with enough dampeners, that wouldn't matter. Something like this. Slam it over that bit more. Doesn't look great, but I'll make something great out of it. Eh, you kind of hold. Give you the reinforcements that you need. Give you the dampening that you need. Without triangulation. Hopefully I can cheapen out some of the steel after this. Or maybe even the road. Does the road need to be high quality concrete? I propose maybe not. Go, 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 go. Oh, looks good until it doesn't. More.
Over, over, over. Oh, if it could just fly over that bit faster. Ah, but it could if we extended this out a bit. Oh, come on, boss! Oh, down you go. What a disgrace. Hmm. Right, so maybe we can just have more of these on this side just to slam that thing over faster. Even at 300% speed, this takes a bit of time. Oh, right. I'm left thinking maybe we just need it to be even higher. Even higher. Because the theory here is sound. Just that this is asking a lot here. So they're not going to get onto these? Maybe it doesn't like its starting position. It's going to be a hard sell because that's pretty much never going to go over to the side there. Or will it? Maybe it will. I'll try again with an even bigger arc here. problems with this, but... Ah, well, there's one of the big problems right there. Bus can't even get on this thing. Oh, well, that was an interesting one. Can you still get on that? Come on, torque, man, torque. Oh, promising. Promising too much, delivering too little. going somewhere. Come on kids, I'll get you to school yet. This is kind of going completely against my idea of that angle. Tip, 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 tip. No, not the boss. It's just not over far enough here. Although maybe, just maybe, this can be solved with more dampeners. I doubt it, though. Well, especially not with like uh, with it going like that. Ooh, you don't like that. What happened to- oh yeah, it's not going down fast enough to snag underneath you, is it? Mm -hmm. That's 
got to be underneath that lip, but it just flies over there too fast. We'll find the perfect ratio of dampeners yet. Come on, boss! Is this really the problem? <laughs> Evidently. Ignore that. Uh, don't ignore that. That's that's a little deadly. How in God's name did changing that change this? Uh, probably that snapping. Oh yeah, the extra weight is a consideration. But hey, it's got a replacement leg to stand on now. Oh, 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 no. Tin Shadow says, I really want to see this work somehow. You and me both. You and me both! Come on! <laughs> ah, oh right, this gave somehow. What if they were steel dampeners? At least then they're, would, they'd be a lot stronger. And not heavier. Spring dampeners may be cheaper, yeah, far less likely to break too. Gah, so close. Yeah, springs are about a third off in terms of price. Absorb the shock with you a bit. Oh, maybe not. But I feel like getting springy could be part of the solution here. Especially since it seems to bounce back. Mm, might be onto something with that, eh? Well, with that down, I bet this whole thing's going to collapse even if it does start coming over. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Agonizing. I'm not sure if there's any movement still happening. No, but... But, but, but... This is a solution in the works. Oh right, this, this part just falls off. This is the part that needs to be adjusted. And you need to be connected. Okay, kids, walk the rest of the way. <laughs> oh boy. Right, I think the problem is these springs are too powerful. There needs to be less spring in them so that they allow this to fall over more. I think when this runs out of road, though, it's not going to have anything to have traction against. Yeah, that's a problem. So, how do we make these less springy? Is it to make them pre-compressed or pre-stretched? I forget. I don't know. Can you make the last bit of road longer? Nope. These roads are stretched out. 
I mean, this is a concern, of course. We can't have breakages. And this is a concern. We need to not spend so much money. But I'm sure there are plenty of bits of steel here that are superfluous. Oh, that looked uh, looks even more promising. Come on, get over there. Front wheel's almost touching. Powerful stuff. The idea of calling this a bridge. I'm sure there are people not happy with that. Not me, though. I'm satisfied. It's getting closer here, though. Springing up those springs is working out. Just grind into that pier. Oh, right in the middle. Okay. Splendid. However, it has brakes, and as such, needs to be fixed. You break. You break way too much. How can you stop breaking? What if it just didn't exist? Well, then other things want to break on you instead, but... Let's do something like that. Ah, there's still a lot of pressure hitting you, but what if we were able to eat that with you? Oh, it's almost good enough. I just think you need to be a bit more, uh, pliable. Get up and on that thing, bus. We've got places to be. Children to educate in engineering. Oh, okay, right. There's a weakness here, of course. Yeah, of course there is. Hmm, what can be done about you? That might dissipate some of the pressure. Mm, oh, it has so far. That's a good sign. Solution no longer has brakes, provided it's a solution. And now we just need to save money. And I'm good at that. <laughs> Back to the wooden dampeners? No, shouldn't have to be. Well, wooden dampeners would be cheaper. Uh, yeah, wooden dampeners would definitely be cheaper. Considerably cheaper. Uh, the game doesn't like me trying to replace these. Oh, there we go. Okay, that change alone snapped that and didn't really save a lot of money. Saved some money, I won't deny that. Right, something here has to be superfluous. I'm betting you and you. The problem is every little change is going to change weight. Ah. Can I get rid of these guys? They cost a lot of money and they don't feel like they contribute much. Ah, oh, jeez. What if they're replaced with wood? Same weight. Cheaper. Do you even need the hanging damp? The dampeners are of vital importance to this whole thing. Need to make sure that it still works, or else we're going to be going up. Uh, well, doing something. Okay, somebody is daring to suggest that we don't have these. Actually, is that both steel and wood in there? Oh, let's show them just how wrong they are. It's already looking less promising without the dampeners. See, this is the kind of chaos you bring into the school kids by removing their dampeners. I 
forget how many there were. But at least this way I can replace them with wooden ones properly. I want to make sure this works again before we replace uh, other... P oh man, that broke. Springs and yeah, there's springs and wood. How can this be? All right, but it still appears to be working fine. I'll take the blame for that boss. The rest are on Jake. That's fine. Then it's just a question of scaling. Right, another four grand to save, and then these kids can finally cost-effectively get to school. Okay, this is saving me money, so I am finally replacing those springs. I guess. Hopefully it works just as well. Ooh, don't like that. This poor guy's still not taking it very well. Try and move him a bit. Ah, no, when this whole thing slams in, he's eating all of it. And if I replaced him with a spring... Oh, well, no, that movement seems to have worked well for him. Great, now just another four grand to save. Somewhere on this godforsaken bridge. It looks good. Okay, well... An obvious solution is to go to northern Macedonia and plead for their concrete. Now concrete does, I believe, have different weight. Or maybe it just sags less. Whatever the case, we get different outcomes with different concrete. So as long as it can make the swing without breaking, which it can thanks to our power of spring, it should be fine. So let's just assume it is. Then let's get real cost effective with that steel. Oh, it felt that. Come on, over you go. Oh, no. Oh, well, it's swimming lessons first period, kids. They're all Neptune's kids now. Splendid. Just splendid. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I need to style on someone, and that sorry someone is going to be Alpha Gamo. Let's make just a slight saving here and there. Oh, and then we have to sit through this again. But don't worry, it's worth the wait. Well, there we go. I bet there were people out there that didn't think this would work. But it does. Under budget, unbreaking, and not the worst. Hmm. Brilliant. Onwards and upwards. Right, drawbridge in disguise. By the way, I just uploaded my solution, Jake. It might show on the recent community tab. Really? I mean, we have to watch our solution again to see that. I think. Leaderboards? No, that's not going to do it. How do we just skip to the end on this? Oh well, watch it again we do. I didn't think it wouldn't work, Jake. I didn't think you'd get it to work. Why would you think that? We have gotten every level so far done under budget and unbreaking. Why did you think this would be any different? I do like the aesthetic of this bridge, though. 
clearly designed by people who'd never seen a bridge before in their life. I wonder what the toll is to cross this. Alright, uh, gallery. First check for friends. It's gonna say no, it always says no. Alright, then. Community. Uh, most recent. It doesn't show name. Oh, hey, here's G-Pick! There we go. Yeah, not bad. I mean, part of me wants to say, where's the soul, but no. That works pretty well. No dampeners, though, which is a bit of a shame. Well, that's why it's G-Pick. The second best that we have on the friends list. Okay, that's all well and good, but let's keep on moving forward. Draw bridge number 10. The minibus thing goes, then hydraulics, then boat, then more hydraulics, and then minibus continues from here. So it needs to go ba bump. It'll automatically turn around and go ba bump. It says in disguise, though. What could it mean by that? if we could take the lessons that we learned from that last level and apply it to here because I have an idea and it might not be a good one but it's my idea so it must be a great one Goddamn losers. Good enough. Now... A little higher, I think, will be needed here. Kinda of good so far. Probably needs a few dampeners, usually does. Oh, not dampeners that connect to everything. for you, but if it doesn't swing down enough, that's going to be a problem here. I want it to swing down there, but if it swings down... Mm, you know what? It could swing out and meet another road here, and would be okay. But it's 
still needs to come down more. Maybe I could just have it come down to begin with. Mm, quite a bit more, in fact. too much though. Hmm. Perhaps I can turn you off, get really stuck in, and do something like this. Okay. Slow that down, what was going wrong there? Ah, it came up that way too quickly. All the more reason that it needs some dampeners. Oh, and it just crumples when you smack into it. Okay, let's try some quality concrete then. Wow. Well now, I'm pretty disappointed in this. If I got rid of both of you, would I be able to move this thing around more freely? Sure, but then everything would fall down. Get on it, get on it, get on it. Mm, kind of close, I suppose. Kind of. Hmm, what a shame. Okay, well I can do this without springs or anything, I can use hydraulics, but I wanted this to work without any of that jiggery-pokery. Ah well. Right, that being the case, how do we do this then? go smack all at once, that's no problem. But I could disable that. Because I only then need it to pull this to oh well no, because I want it to uh, to hydraulic while you're on it, so that wouldn't work. Mmm. Alright then, no, we can't give up on this idea just yet. I don't want it swinging over too much. But there's no way to have this thing already be stretched to a certain amount. Hmm. What if I did something like that? How would you react? No, by breaking entirely, okay. I can't help but feel this seesaw idea mark two isn't quite up to scratch, so let's consider something else. How about something really simple? Pinpoint precision or not? Possibly.
to there. No, I can't have that as a connection point. Left have it there. Fill that you go. Uh, I'm not even sure what I did there. solution. That doesn't mean I have a better one to hand. Let's see, we get you over. Could even go the top way. Do dunk. I need to go this way, but not put this thing in the way. Could have a nice conversion point here. Oh, there's my snapping. Tell that to sod right off. So when this engages, it's going to push this up and then leave room for you to come back in. It doesn't change this problem though, you know, getting around all this. But I bet some other. Hydraulics would. No, not that one specifically. Right. God, that is quite hideous. Right, how far can you get? bring it so far back unfortunately but what if you also brought it back yeah that might just work but it also might not so let's not get our hopes up right, that's gonna push you up so you're pretty supported <laughs> pretty supported Probably isn't so good at. Oh no, you can't handle that at all, can you? Alright, let's make it a bit weaker on the incline. Almost. This paint ain't happy though. Ah, of course, I'm cheapening out in the concrete. In your defense, Jake, every bridge you've built so far has been hideous. Uh, oh, I turned off all hydraulics. Bye, bridge. Bridge ain't breaking it this time. Alright, what's snapped there and why? You're meant to push this thing up. That's held by that, which is bad. This guy doesn't like what he's doing at all. And to be fair, he's got very minimal support right there. Hmm. Also, what was I thinking with that? Could 
strength than you like so. Get rid of that and just give you that. None of these need apply though. Is that going to be enough? No, no, you're a weak point. I'm not even convinced that this is doing much for you. If I strengthen the kind of concrete we used here. This is pretty bad. <laughs> A lot of this is pretty bad. Okay. You connect onto this. Why are you not connected like so? Nonsense, Modo. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and that is pretty much all that matters. Okay, something ain't right with this connection. Those two probably shouldn't also be with you. Wow, how did we get along so easily last time and now everything's gone to the soup? That's more like it. I don't know how that's meant to operate, but... Ah, that's right, when I pull you off, I want you off of this. Can I do that? Or do I need to make it a three-way? Something's happening there. What was the way to make it a three-way? Like, I want this structure to be one thing, this to be a second thing, and this to be a third thing. But I can't remember how I make you out. Ah, here we go, three-way split joint. See? Just what I was after. Now, what was the problem there? You just slumped down here, probably because I don't have anything supporting you, but that can be changed. Bridge? No, kind of. Hmm. That's not three way, Jake. Oh, so it's not. Not really sure that it being a three-way or not is going to save its bacon here. What, what even all broke there? So, I want to see this moment again to see where it all comes apart. Clunk. Okay. So, this thing falls because it's not attached in there. If it was connected there, then maybe the pushing up would have done something. Part of the bridge at a time, you see. Well, um. What do you also need to be. No, because then you're just gonna spin around again. Do I need you connected like that? Also, I know. Yeah, this is genius before it's time here. swinging down when you're also connected to that. Ah, because you're not connected with that as number one. Hmm. That's slightly more like it. Excellent. I bet you're not needed, but something is needed to stop this rest of it swaying apart. Hmm. Will we see more State of Day K2 on Twitch in the future? Yeah, like tomorrow, for pretty much all day. Right, what is crumbling there? Let's 
try that again. Alright, it's going up kind of as planned. And then it's feeling a lot of pressure and it's ready to just tip on this point. So, I think I see the solution here. You be higher. Millimeter clearance? No. But imagine if it was. Wait, that just means that the hydraulics can't pull it back as far. Well, have some hope. Millimeter clearance. hatches. Oh! Ho 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 ho! Oh. Something beautiful, and it wasn't beautiful enough. But what if it was? That should allow for even more clearance. Oh, right, yes. Uh, have you disabled? Millimeter clearances at work. Now we just need to cheapen it a bit, and we're on to the winner. First off, things that are made of steel can be made of wood. And more things made of steel can be made of wood. Looks great. Now let's just cheapen off a bit of this expensive Cement. Oh, he didn't like being cheapened off. Ooh, don't think many of them like it. Hmm. Yet another glorious victory. Whew. Now we could definitely make that a bit better, but we already beat G-Pick, so I'll take my victory where I can. Let's carry on. Lean on me. 45k. Finally some money. Double-decker bus. No real limitation, but no steel available. Right. Okay, well, let's start with this. Frozen Kaiser just says, can't keep getting away with it. Somebody stop me. Alright, well, all I'm seeing here is an invitation to triangulate. As we know, rectangles are really strong. Chang's my my budget ain't as hot as I thought it was here. Go for it. Wonderful. Okay, let's rethink that entirely. get a bit more saggy. It does, say that, it does say that it wants to lean on something. I propose we lean on this rock. Quite heavily, with a lot of wood. I guess this is kind of where snap to grid should be off. We 
looking good. All right. And then, and then, and then. I don't know, something up top, maybe? Hmm, not bad. Now we just need a bit more support, maybe down low as well. support then. Hmm. Maybe the solution is not to have so much of this support, but instead rely a bit more on rope. Hmm. Oh boy, even G-Pick was saying this one was a pain in the arse. But did he use as many rectangles? Possibly not. Jenks can't even keep that side of the bridge intact here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alpha Gamma saying, I failed this one, it was pretty hard. Now I know when someone's taking the mick, and Alpha Gamma was taking the mick there. Must be very easy with a simple solution that I'm not seeing, so let's go real simple. If we had any standard sort of bridge, we'd just do this. Except that's not enough, it needs more support, and that support shall be found at the bottom, right here. spent all my money and it's not good enough but let's cheapen out in the concrete and see if that can't buy us some more time that certainly cheapens out on a lot this needs to be a lot stronger though and there's no other points to hold on to it's really weak around here oof oh also that road Explains why it wasn't triangulating. ever get this thing to not just fall apart. I'm just making this whole damn thing out of matchsticks and it's not happening. Okay, I have a better solution than all of this put together. I wonder what it is. Let's get a bit saggy again. Now, I think we're on to something quite alright when we were attaching into you. you though. It still feels a little bit not uh, not 
symmetrical. Don't know why the word symmetrical is giving me such grief today. Advanced concept for me clearly. Right. It's already most of the money gone, and it's not over, because a whole heap of the money is going to be gone with this. Now that's not the right way to put it, is it? I wonder if I can also connect you across like that. But my thought here is something along the lines of... Lots of these things. a new arc with you. And go along it until we've hit all of these guys. the cable to rest the side bits on. Maybe the cable for the whole thing. But that means that these have to go. They'll all be replaced with cable. Okay, I wonder if one bit of cable is going to be enough. I also hope it dissipates the pressure across the whole cable here and not just the parts that I'm putting down. That's a bad bleeding sign right there. There, have at. A bad sign. Hmm. does it take to have this thing actually even function? At least if I have something working over budget, I can then see what is working for this, and then what doesn't work, and then we remove what doesn't work. Well, that doesn't work, but only barely seem pretty good for the most part. A lot of tension on you. A whole lot of tension on you. Why? And can that be dissipated? Like so. It's just kind of moving the tension along. Well, we made it across, but uh, massively over budget. Let's not get spoiled on how our friends did. Not until we have a working solution here. Maybe something like that helps out a lot, and all this stuff on the bottom is doing nothing. Unbreaking, at least. You know, if uh, if the stuff at the bottom goes, we're going to save pretty much all the money we need for this. If only. What if it were made out of wood, just for a short period? So good, but what is superfluous? 
Something has to be here. Alright, slow down. Let me see where pressure is being hit. A lot of the top stuff is doing some real heavy lifting. You know, the concrete less so. I actually think we can skimp heavily on some North Macedonian concrete. But we are so heavily over budget that it's going to take a bit more than sheeping out on the concrete to get us through this. First, let's try the concrete approach, though. Well, it's under pressure, but it's holding. Lovely. Now, let's save ourselves another 23 grand. So, what if we just got rid of the cable? Then I doubt these triangles are actually going to be doing anything, but cable is very expensive, more than twice as expensive as wood. First I'll try with no cable, then I'll try with wood instead of cable. Well, that is a swift answer to that question. What about wood? And here's hoping wood will reach all these places. Don't worry guys, I'm going through this pain so that you don't have to. And it is painful. Okay, scratch that thought. What if we use rope, which is half the price of cable? Does this even do anything when it's like that? Look at us eat closer towards that delicious budget. So the rope is taking a lot of pain on that. So the rope is good. But what if the rope weren't there all the time? What if we just had it at certain segments? Well, very specific. Oh, also, let's see what we can do without these. I've got a lot of savings to make, and anywhere I can make them, I should. Yeah, the rope here is completely lax. It's not doing anything. So, snippy snippy. Mm, now it's looking a lot more possible, isn't it? Now, there's doubtlessly something here that we can get rid of, but before that, I'm thinking, what if these were not here? They're already held together at the top, and the, uh, the rope is really just meant to bear the weight, and I'm sure it can bear it at both points, like so. Well, I'm a little less sure now. What if we give it, like, a center pressure point on both sides? a number of pressure points, but not all of them. <laughs> what is symmetry? Okay, back to the drawing board and that idea. So these are all pretty important on keeping the string in place. What if it wasn't so far down? I'd save a lot of money on wood that way. Well, maybe a lot is overselling the savings here, but I'd save on wood. I just weaken other important parts of the bridge, but I gotta try what I gotta try. Mm, not happening. Okay, well. Got a lot. Jake, if you ever get bored playing games, I predict a glorious civil engineering career. Uh, you predict that all you want. I can't see it happening. I'd have a ridiculously hard time re-entering the world of work. I wouldn't be able to take anything from anyone these days. Okay, I spotted some bits that look awfully superfluous. It's a little worrying to me that that looked superfluous, though. Yeah, sure, great. Now another ten grand to chip off and we're good. But from where? 
I'm fairly certain this stuff's very important, but let's get rid of it anyway. Yeah, really very important. And even without it, we're still over budget. What if it's much smaller? stuff that I can snip away from here. What about all this stuff here? Ah, some of that seemed pretty necessary. Maybe not all of it though. Oh, you're not even doing anything with that. the rope cheaper than wood triangles for the same distance almost certainly the rope is not much more expensive than wood I reckon what you might be getting at is that we could replace a lot of this stuff with rope something like so hold rope hold hold better hold better than that part did what even happened here another cracking idea. How about we say goodbye to all of this. We grab this. We make a copy of it. We otate it. And then we say have it. I feel like something is missing here. Yeah, this part right here. Wait, what if this is superfluous? It ain't. Once again, asymmetry gets me through. solution before I cut it all off. This looks so close, but it's not even close because the whole thing just collapses in the center there. Unless there's some amazing way to make this more rigid. And maybe there is. Maybe if I bring you up like so, you'll offer support through this center. No, you won't. Hmm. It's just pulling so hard on this. I wonder if it could be dealt with if the pressure was dissipated by ropes into these far parts. Of course, that just puts me bafflingly... Wow! Didn't like that. Puts me bafflingly over budget again. There are no lateral connections on the bottom now. Were those there before? Probably. What was this? 
something like that. I can't remember what we had before. Well, the game can. Oh yeah, I had a lot of these uh, pentagram things before. Didn't we get away with getting rid of these before and it was okay? How about there? Maybe the rope will do something now. Certainly took some pressure at a point there. Hmm. Tricky stuff. Sure, we win there, but we don't win hard enough. And we need to win real hard. promising but boy do we still have a ton of uh, ton of budget to trim away but where and how hold on what if these aren't doing anything mm, okay they're doing something <sighs> Play that one more time. I think I'll pass. That makes us look very good on the budget, but not good enough. Okay, I have an idea that we could maybe raise all of these to be as high as possible, because that seems to make it stronger. It also costs a bomb, sure, but the savings will be made if this makes up for getting rid of the other bits of wood. like it in the center. It never likes it in the bleeding center. That dissipates it quite well, even. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now we just need to lose... Okay, let's look at the friends list here. We've already beaten Shadow, but everybody else is ever able to get it under budget. So we just need to try harder. Mm. One thing I'm bad at trying. Okay, what if the under supports were a lot shorter? Did we try that already? I feel like we did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you tried... <laughs> Adding dampeners. No, we've not tried adding dampeners. Hmm. Now this is just not having any of it. I might have to go right back to the drawing board. Because this just ain't doing it. I mean, this is doing it. But not under budget. And under budget is something we have got to do. have this and make it work. I have an idea, and I don't like it, but let's use it anyway. What if we actually use these points instead of this point? It's a bit deeper down, but it'll make the arc not supported here, but here and here. Or at least there and there. Uh, 
That is hard to reach. way we'll have a lot more leaning on this thing. Might even be able to get rid of some of this stuff, but we'll see. This could get real expensive. saved a butt ton of money, but I've also deleted a butt ton of stuff. Well, let's keep with the deleting and see how it goes. What an unpleasant bridge we have to build here. case. Let's get these as close as we can. Alright, how do you like that? <laughs> Not a lot, you say? Well, too bad. Get back to it. Yeah, you know what? We might be getting somewhere here. Over budget, holy moly, these matchsticks get expensive fast. That's still more expensive than our previous uh, solution. What if we got rid of the top this time and kept the bottom? The bottom kind of dissipates. Got a little excited there, but gotta remember, I still have a lot of budget left to play with here. Okay, now I don't. And it still breaks apart, holy moly. change. Yikes. Okay, it's not liking this one bit. What if we went crawling back to our friend the rope? Because this is doing a great job of dissipating a lot of this. We just need to keep it good on the sides. I wonder if it can even work this way, the rope. It doesn't really seem to attach onto anything. It still takes it, actually. stuff can't hold. Hmm. You have metal wire too. Yeah, but metal wire is outrageously expensive. Just like this concrete I'm now investing in. Oh. 
Well, that is close. Real close. Let's get it even closer. Welsh Concrete saves the day! Alright, not bad, and I can't help but feel that we can trim a little bit out of this budget as well. At the very least, to defeat Mo Oh god, Marvin's like a grand cheaper than us. Alright, where is the pressure not? A lot of these spokes seem superfluous. Let's try deleting some. For giggles. Okay. Or maybe not, right? Maybe we don't have to prove a point. Maybe we can be satisfied with dealing with the matchstick bus mission. Knowing that we beat a bunch of our friends, and some couldn't even defeat it themselves. Oh, we've only got eight on the list here. How many did we have before? Who's not on this list? Alpha Gamo's not on this list. And all the rest. Onwards to 412 Trailblazer. Off goes the pickup, and God knows what else has to happen here. Okay, maybe stopping for a drink would be a class idea. Keep that brain fueled. Not the best gamer fuel there is. Okay. Pickup truck goes. Hydraulics go. Buggy goes. Hydraulics go again. And then after you turn around, you. Yeah. Okay, so you need to go. And then you're going to go whee. And then we'll be okay. The trouble is, this thing's not very fast. So if I want to thread the loop like I did before, we might be in a bit of a pickle for it. But I think we can make it happen anyway. At least there's no accursed boats to worry about this time. That's yeah, nice and simple, isn't it? Over you go. Now that seems like a very fast vehicle. So I could probably just shoot it right up there. No harm, no fuss. And all we'd have to do for that is disconnect you, make ourselves a sick ramp. Real sick. Not that sick though, let's get that away. That probably works, I'm not even sure if that's going to do anything though. Oh yeah, of course, that was somewhat necessary. There's a problem with this, isn't there? Yeah, I keep connecting to that point. That's not where I need to connect. I need to connect to somewhere like that. Still doesn't like holding together here, though. Hmm. We have expensive solutions for these problems. Looking great. That doesn't look great at all. Um, yeah, because I'm going to pull that up to process point so this won't be necessary. Good. Yeah, it won't be necessary. Alright, go for the sick ramp. Very sick. Ah, of course, you're gonna cause problems there. Ah, uh, it's not the only problem. Actually, what gave, what gave there? This, this couldn't hold. So 
something a bit more stable there then. Holy smokes. Much better. Hit that sick ramp. Sicker. Up and at him. Oh. Needs to be slightly more sick. To not break apart and be a bit cheaper. And we are in the money. Well, this is a big mistake for starters. What can be done here? Turn off triangulation for one. That's getting real expensive real fast. That bit's going to just flail about, sadly. I don't think that's going to hold too well. What if everything's made of steel? Jake, when you wrap presents, do you use a roll of tape each? What? Heavens no, I'm actually quite good at wrapping presents. Absolutely splendid, just needs to be cheaper. And I'm good at cheaping out. Actually, you could dissipate uh, more by being there. Quite a bit more. Nice. 45 quid over budget. So it still needs to be solved a bit. I bet you don't need to be that long. As long as you're at the same angle, you'll still hit, still hit the mark. With flying colours. Easy. Very easy. But could be made a little bit easier, evidently. Hmm. Do we feel like being a bit easier? You know, a lot of that seems very superfluous. You would not. I'm starting to wonder if rather than pull it up, I could push it up. Then it would be less at anyone's mercy. that support going on for it, does it? Wow, it's not a happy one. Maybe removing supports is the way forward for that, then. Hmm. Something has to work, but what's, uh, what's this causing this thing to just fall apart, I wonder. Too much pressure on this probably gives, because now this is fielding quite a bit of the pressure. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Nothing like that. Ah, maybe I've gone too far here. We had something that worked. We can refine that instead. Simple. The old kiss method. It's never failed me before. It's not failing me now. Nice. But could it be nicer? Are you necessary? Are you necessary? Evidently not. A lot of this feels very little pressure, and if you're ever not at 99.9% .9 pressure, you're wasting your time. 95.1, child's play. Now most of that comes from you ramping up there anyway. So there we go, under 20 grand, if that ain't great. Well then, looks like you're going by Ice Bear's standards. Probably comes a point where you're getting a little too obsessed with something. Snap. Snap, yeah we tried that before. But I bet it wouldn't go so snappy if we had Spring, which is marginally cheaper than, uh, than Ste- oh, oh, yeah, hmm. That'll give as well. How about that? We tried food over there. A lot of pressure on it, sure, but... Two large hydraulics, G-Pick. Dang. Don't know why you would do such a thing. This is clearly easy with what we have right now. Well, let's make a point about it, G-Pick. go. The dastardly G-Pick has been dethroned. Let's see what his solution was. Recent Trailblazer? Shadow? Oh no, we don't want that. G-Pick! Across you go. Ooh! Oh, that is swanky. That is really swanky. I, I can't say a bad thing about it. It's really cool. I want to see it again. It's so good. Across you go. I'm surprised you needed a second hydraulic. This looks like it would work with just one. But you'd probably need a different point of axis here, which would make it more convoluted than using a second, uh, second one. Yeah, it does have some soul to it. What about uh, Shadow? I feel like my homework's been copied here. Very expensive though, Shadow, come on. We've got mouths to feed. Okay, onwards to 413, Diagonal Drawbridge. Is this in any way like a diagonal elevator? What do we have, some kind of race car, a blimp, and a blue car? So, 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 you've got to get up here, you've got to get down there. How fast are you? I somehow expected faster. Couldn't I just have a really tough slope here? Do you think you could do that, race car? Yeah, probably not. But what if we... You can handle that, right? Let's uh, let's do the theory, uh, the theoretical approach first. Q. 
Can you handle it? Mm, I bet you could. I bet it could. It just needs a gentler angle. How about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull the other one. Off you trot. And then the rest is just a bang. Wait, is this even steeper? Feels like it might be even steeper here. Find out soon enough. Okay, change of idea. Because I reckon it just needs a bit of speed going, and then it could start going up quite a bit faster. More of a, a ramp, if you will. Hmm. So perhaps we do something like... Something like... No, that's not quite enough there. Wish I could move the end point. Still, something like that, but not quite that. And then around this point we start scaling them up a bit more. Then has to has to get a little too steep, a little too fast, I think. All right, do that and see how you handle it. Given my enormous budget here, I don't think this should be too difficult. Oh ho ho ho! Crumbs. But, we're on to a winner. Just needs a little bit more of a gentle approach here. Not with steel. Too much for you, huh? Come on, people don't really need clearance. Ah, that's that's the crux of the matter right here. I mean, it's, it's quite happy to just keep going up and up and up. Yeah, good enough. I could probably adjust this to make it far more cost effective, but too bad. Okay, and all we have to do is shift the scaffolding from bottom to top. Easy, right? Probably, with this amount of money. How 
does that saying go? People rising from the bottom to the top has got to stop. <laughs> okay, maybe we need... No, hang on, this held fine before. Yeah, there we go. Now let's just get rid of some of this... Uh, some of these extras. Ah. There might be a small problem with my design here. But it's only very small. Um... to hear it, but I think dampeners might be the solution here. Because this race car goes pretty fast, doesn't it? There we go, sweet. Now we just need this not to be a problem. Uh, you're part of one. You're all part of one except for this thing. This thing just detaches and does its own thing. That probably won't work the way I want it to work, but I sure don't want to use hydraulics here. I want it to be a hydraulic free salute. Oh wow, what's even snapping? This thing just snaps entirely. Okay, what if it wasn't there? something breaks, just remove it. Go, 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 go! A little bit more going. It's still moving. And now it's not moving. Falls down there anyway. Mm -hmm. What if we had these but a bit smaller? Ah, then it's not going to work. <laughs> Far from it. <laughs> Okay, uh, other solutions? I mean, it's so damn close when it goes up with that. Hmm. A small spring? It would have to be a very small spring. And one that's really able to... Oh, well, that's, that's a bit too much of everything. I think it's going to hit the same problem of being at the top here. Yeah, no amount of dampeners is going to solve that. But, if one spring doesn't work, what if two springs work? I don't know why I thought that might work, but I had to try. Is the decoupler even needed at this point? Probably not. Uh, I mean, I could make a tiny, tiny little bit of raising and lowering here. do anything? Probably still gonna ram into this and smash it. Oh, doesn't it just? I wonder if better road at this point will make any difference. It's already feeling the tension. Poor guys. Alright. That alleviated the tension, so it hopefully won't shatter. Up you go, out you go. Oh yeah, the blimp. Ah. Oh, no controls, we can't turn it off. Ah. Slight problem with that then. Okay, well maybe this will be fine as it is. Um, maybe.
Well, it detached at least. Now, blue car, shove it out of the way. Damn, blue car just doesn't have what it takes. Maybe it's just a little too heavy for it, thanks to the impressively hefty North Macedonian concrete that we're using. Is that even hitting the ground there? Not enough. It's funny, it seemed to go low enough before, now it's... Oh, probably because it's connecting to this now, it doesn't like it so much. Huh, I feel like I had a decent working solution for this before, but now, no. It's just a little too high for poor red car to handle. Well, there are other solutions we could use that involve... No, things raise and lower between the blimp, and I don't have control over them here. Hmm... That was the one that worked before. Can't remember. That kind of works, except you get caught there. Now, can I do anything about that? Maybe. But also, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna make a longer thing here. That'll that'll hopefully take care of it. Turn off triangulation and just make ourselves a really simple road over to this thing. Agonizingly simple, barely held together. Barely held together. Hmm? Is that too far for you? Must be. You're not lighting up. Except, this needs to be... Just completely ready to let that... <laughs> okay, no, maybe not that much. Hmm, it's a fine line between this thing shattering and not. I don't think that's going to be the clearance to make it happen, though. Yeah, no, you just go ramming right into it. Don't worry, Solaire. There's been a lot of laughs going on during this. It's been a lot of fun. A hell of a lot of fun. Man, this thing just can't handle it. Okay. Welsh concrete it is. Now, maybe you can shove this up, but maybe it's become too heavy for you now. I put the spring in in the hopes that it would be enough. No, this blue car is pathetically wimpy. stuff at all. Mm. Mm. What if you didn't have all of this uh, all this hefty stuff then? Would it be enough to hold it together? Oh, it might be. The question is, can the blue car shove it out of the way? Go, 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 the little blue car that could... Keep on pushing. The further you get, the easier it is. Shove it! Oh no, I made the springs too powerful. But he's still moving. And I'm not so sure he's moving anymore. Hmm. Actually, the... The more they're like that, the easier it should be for the car to get under it, right? 
I want it just to be enough to have that being... Yeah, that should be enough. We'll see, though. Might be a bit of a slog for the old blue cup. I am in awe as how that changed your situation. There we go. The blimp is just such a non-factor in this, it's all about the blue car. Blue car, you've captured my heart, now capture the finish line. Oh boy, it's looking good, it's looking great! I just nudge it through! <laughs> hey! Never any doubt. Alright, now we just need to trim off some of the massive amounts of superfluous steel that we have here. I'm going to start with you, and I'm going to continue on with you. I'm looking at what's taking uh, taking pressure on this. Almost nothing is the answer. Could probably get rid of most of this stuff and just replace it with really, really cheap uh, wood instead. <laughs> probably, right? Lower a lot of this stuff, replace the the slats towards the roads with wood, and that'll be the big savings right there. R Max, what is it with you and advocating for rope in this game? There's so much money you can use on this mission, I'm really interested in what uh, other solutions uh, have been used here. Alright, wood has this way of changing how things work, because it has more give than steel. And that's an example right there. Why? Is the whole thing just giving a bit from this? Kind of interesting that that happened. Okay, raising that seems to have helped out a lot. <laughs> okay, maybe this critical juncture should be kept as steel there. I bet a lot of this stuff isn't needed, though. Well, some of this stuff isn't needed. Like, none of these guys feel any pressure. What are you even doing here? Where you go? Mm, these guys feel a little bit, though. Just feels bad to have such an expensive solution here. I don't want to. I don't want to waste so much money like that. Uh, but then again, it's all coming apart now. I suppose it does dissipate a lot of it. What if you weren't here? Hmm. If it works, under sixty grams are good enough. I've been uploading a boringly generic solution to recent if you want to look at this uh, after this timming. Timming? Trimming, probably. Yeah, I might be interested. It's interesting how the supports change this, though. Oh, wow. That's not all that's changing. It's coming apart. I did too much. Too much tweaking. I should have been satisfied with my working solution, but I got greedy. car can still squeeze through that, and it can. Just make a minor adjustment here and we're good to go. That probably makes a lot more sense than that. Kind of like a backwards triangle for how these are meant to... Wow, I can't believe some of the changes that, uh, that this causes. Come on, red car, we've been through this before. This bridge doesn't look physics-defying to me. Physics-defiant, perhaps. Oh man, I still want to trim away and save on the bucks here. So much of the steel barely feels any pressure. And that's just wasted money. 
but we should just make do with our glorious success here. Wow, Darth there. he spent a ton of money, and whilst Meowzilla continues to try to be top dog, I'm afraid we don't accept breaking bridges around here. Should have done better. Okay, what do we have from our friends? For some reason, friends just continues to not work, but I will try again. Ah, oh, okay. Where are you at? How do I select these again? Oh, here's G-Pick. Ups a daisy. Oh, come on. Where's the soul, man? Interesting, you made most of this out of matchsticks for the um, for the support there. And something happened with the release of the car that I didn't catch. What was that all about? Oh, okay, so it's not a breakage, but you must have set that to detach with hydraulics, I take it. And the blue car just flips it over and away he goes. Alright, what else do we have? Shadows at it. You guys are just copying each other's homework here. Uninspiring, that's what I'm seeing. Meowzilla, what are you doing with your breaking? Ah, you use the springs there. Yeah, I can get behind the spring solution. That wee blue car can pack a punch for someone so small. It's like Jimmy Hopkins. Alright, who else do we have? Hey, here's Marvin at it. Ah, I like that. Going underneath with the hydraulic instead. Meowzilla? No, I'm not, not in here for uh, atten attention whores. Yeah, now nah, that's good. That is very good. Man, so many different solutions can be brought about for the same problem. It's great. I like that cable solution there. Ice bears at it. Hmm. Nice clearance. Impressive that it holds there, but I guess the vehicles are quite light. And hey, made it with a straight line. Good job. I like it a lot. But I'm very happy with my own monstrosity, so let's carry on. 4.14, only three more to go in this chapter. We've been here for over five hours. Okay, what do we have? More oil for Neptune, but we got to cross over with 61k budget. What's special about this, though? A1 to A1, A2 to A2, and that's it. They just got to go. Big rigs over the river racing. Oh, well. Why make it complex? In goes the expense of concrete. In goes this. Oh yeah, maybe some gridding would be helpful here. Don't know how far out this one came. Probably quite far out. Oh yeah, enough to make a rectangle. Looks great. Probably pretty weak in the center there. And I don't have any high points for it, but... Oh, right, they both cross at the same time. That's going to be hefty on the, uh, on the support. Ooh, yeah. hmm. YouTube pleb checking in. Ave, hey, let it burn. Just in time for something that's probably not very glorious here. Let's just get a feel for how much pressure this thing needs, or takes, or exerts. Time for dampeners to slow down the second truck. I'm tempted, I'm really tempted. Because... Well, actually, I don't know how much it's going to slow it down by. Hmm. It's also costing quite a bit to get over there. These are triangulating, aren't they? Dampeners get really expensive, they triangulate into each other. Doesn't matter that it kind of collapses though, as long as the dampener, the dampener did not do their job. Hmm. How about that then? No. Okay, what if they were right on top of the guy first? Then he'd still have to push through them, but he probably has the 
immense torque to make that happen. Oh, right, there's a problem, of course. Can't do it with, uh, with that. We need road. Only road collides. How could we forget? Oh, right, no, it's so powerful it just shoves that road out of the way. Okay. Loved our dampeners, but not good enough. Right. I suppose it's time for a bit of saggy. I prefer to sag than to go uh, up and over. Even though going up and over probably dissipates weight quite a bit better. So let's have some really good concrete coming in. And I wonder if I could make a similar shape here. Meet you like so. Let's get all steely. And just triangulate everything we can around here. Symmetries for nerds. And uh, people that want to save money, for, uh, possibly. How you like that? Not quite a lot, but not enough. What if you also have some support on top? <laughs> just crushed its way through. Alright, what about added support on top? Okay, now we're just way too over budget. Yeah, Poseidon does approve of his tribute here, I can see that. Uh, right, aside from everything being wrong, I think this is a good idea. Actually, when we had that, what is causing the... What's causing this all to fall apart, first and foremost? Right, so straight away, way too much pressure hitting you there, and along the road tiles themselves. Let's see that again. No, it's not so much on the bottom, it is straight on these road tiles. They are feeling it. I wonder why they're getting so much pressure and it's not dissipating down below. Alright, well then, we know how to handle that, probably. Cable's very good at handling this sort of stuff. even symmetry. Well, maybe cable used a bit better is good at handling this sort of stuff. Hey, the central cable held. Probably meant it wasn't doing anything. Yeah, I don't think we need dampeners. Adding more weight to this bridge doesn't seem like the brightest idea. Hmm. Oh, how, do, how are you not there? not paying attention to the signs that say don't drive over this with two giant heavy lorries. Hmm. God, this thing has a ton of weight from the get-go. some solutions at it, see if any of them earn the name Solution. Alright, that's not happening. What can happen then? What's the level called? That's usually a nice hint for what we're dealing with. No, just big rigs. Clearly made by somebody a fan of over-the-road racing. Hmm. I mean, we could make it go over, but I feel that that's just causing more problems. Uh, 
a really rigid straight road might work, but I tried that and it didn't work. Plus it's quite long, so the pressure in the center would get pretty damn high. Hmm. I don't know, I still think I was on to something with the saggy arc. If we go up and over... Well, we could try it at least. Oh, but with uh, actually good concrete, please. See what can be done with this. Glory to the rectangle in the middle. How good are you feeling? Okay, immediate massive pressure on the whole thing. Can that in any way be dissipated? Oh, that dissipates it a lot. A hell of a lot. Come on, don't disappoint me by being the solution. Oh, thank God. Don't like sensible solutions. No time for them. Improvement some way. But two of these guys are just so much weight for this thing to handle. So, yeesh. All right, well, let's try going over it as well. Enjoy. <laughs> the arches are good. <laughs> Nothing on the old dampness. Okay, that holds that quite well. Quite well, not amazingly well, obviously. Otherwise it wouldn't have fallen apart. Alright, so if we just put a mash of steel underneath it, and it works, then we just find the steel that isn't carrying its weight, and delete it. It's a lot of weight going on. It's really feeling it here, sadly. Four ninety-five. Uh, it flashed a hundred there. I saw it flash a hundred. It's a shame that it actually gave up the ghost there. I would have quite liked to see what a hundred looks like. Almost double your budget? Yeah, but not quite double my budget. Like I said, I just want to find a winning solution, which that was not, and uh, refine from there. Clearly. I, you know, I bet all this stuff on the top is just too much. Too much pressure for this thing. Hmm. I'm not actually sure if that does anything. Hmm. I like this arch, but I'd rather do something else. Because I still prefer a sag. Now, my question is, what can we do about this sag? Well, I could fill it in for starters. Sides. Pretty damn well. 
Uh, how well would you hold if you also kept us all looking real ropey? Also, how much does this costing me? Only all the money, so that's okay. Probably not how you're meant to do it. Evidenced by the fact that it broke apart there. But at least I tried. Okay, I'm not even sure if the ropes are feeling much of that pressure. Hmm, too symmetrical, Jake. It'll never work. I had my fears about that as well, but I have another idea. Maybe we shouldn't attach directly to the roads, but instead onto some top bits like this. Wait, no, these are more effective the taller they are. Ah, snapped grid is getting rid of my ingenuity here. four at the same time, or all three rather? What if you were a little bit closer? Come on, come to play. Come to Brazil. Funny, this is so much more budget than getting that other truck over the tooth uh, toothpick bridge, and yet this one feels quite a bit harder for me. Cursed with options, clearly. Okay, well this isn't uh, this isn't holding so well on that side. Not at all. Maybe you also need a bit of help from. No, that wouldn't do it. How about that, though? You know, none of these are actually taking any pressure right now, are they? Oh, but suddenly this is uh, looking worse for wear. Hmm. Why did the Romans not use sags instead of arches? Might be onto something. Huh? The Romans used arches because they needed the water to wash off of it if you made sags like this, the water would pool in the center, but it's never a rainy day in this world, so that's not a consideration. What is a consideration is getting these damn trucks over here. Hmm. It's dampeners. No, this doesn't need more weight. You're not working for me. The closest thing we had to victory was this. Maybe that's a little over the top. Oh well. Angles in while we can. Oh my. Sure didn't like that. Which makes me think that these steel beams are going to be taking a little bit too much weight on them. Or all the weight on them. How could the rectangles let me down like that? for this to be over the cost limits. Hmm. 
Looking not bad. Looking bad. Looking real bad. Ah, but of course we didn't offer any support over here. Also, what's up with that? Hmm. Okay, this one's giving me grief now. Maybe it's too big of an arch. Maybe make it a little flatter. Hmm. I feel like there's a fundamental concept that I've not been picking up on here. And maybe I'd have an easier time if I had. Because this is just falling apart. Mm, oh well, I see something in chat that I hadn't considered, although I should have, <clears throat> and that's to have another arc underneath. If the arcs are so powerful, then surely this will be able to hold. should be made shorter so that it uh, can make the ziggy zaggies a bit better. Something like so. Well, I wouldn't want it triangulating in that case. game. Sure, the music's good, but the real coup de grace on the sound effects. They feel so good. Nice and industrious. I wonder if I could use rope here. Why do I feel like rope would be a terrible idea? Because, you know, anything that sags down isn't going to tighten the rope. And yet, I can't help but feel like I want to try. And I tried, but I bet the problem was because it didn't link up like so. Hey, well at least it pinged off that time. Anyway, daft ideas aside, let's actually get steel. Well, it's almost looking like a real bridge now almost costing like a real bridge too. Holy moly, I hope this works, because that's expensive. It didn't work. Hmm. I wonder what my problem is here, then. Hmm. Try detaching the last road from the anchor point. What? Not attaching that? making all right progress here, but I wonder what the problem is. Maybe it's just too bendy. Let's get real low with the arc then. Absolutely minimal. <laughs> yeah, sadly the game doesn't have signposting.
Hey, what if it opened like that? That would make no sense and cost a ton of materials. Ah, it's too far from there, isn't it? Hmm. This is going to get even more expensive than last time. But hey, a working solution is something that can be worked from. Ah, that money's just draining away. done with this though. Oh. Hmm. Right. I like the sound of another idea, because I bet it looks good. But there is an idea that we have a really, really bendy guy, like so. We're going to use his powerful bends to suspend this whole thing. Oh no, losing the triangles here. <laughs> the rectangles just keep coming to me. Looks good. Doesn't work good, but maybe there's a way to make it work good. Like connecting you, connecting you. And, uh, stringing it up. connect to the road when we can connect to the uh, the wooden bits. Oh, that's probably going to put immeasurable stress on the wooden bits. <laughs> if the thing can even hold to begin with, which it can't. Jake, the force of the bridge collapsing we will try to separate the triangles, not push them together. Use rope on the bottom. Didn't I try using rope on the bottom? Maybe it's too late for that. Actually, it's never too late. Not with the power of the undo button. The force of the triangles will separate them. Huh. Oh, whatever, we can give this a go. Drastically expensive though it is. really seeing the victory there. Not really seeing it at all. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> at least that bit of steel got to the other side. Hey, yeah! All the way there. Right, what can be done here? This one's giving me grief. Hmm. 
Why did the sagging bridge not work? Normally the sagging bridges are so powerful that they can handle it. Then again, the arch is pretty damn strong at what it does. This is painful, but not even in a fun way, says Avenue. There's no unorthodox Jake solution trying to be forced. It's just pure pain. Yeah. Yeah. There's no room for dampeners here. There's no just shoving things out of the way either. It's just trying to make a strong bridge. With a good budget as well, but it's just not coming together for me. I think I tried the sagging plus arc combo. I can try it again though. Yeah, I remember now. I had this guy sagging a bit. And then I had an upward arc here. Probably not out of road though. Do that shorter though. Hmm, I think I need to change the shape such that it goes up a little sooner. Oh yeah, didn't I just try this? I feel like I did just try this actually. I know my memory ain't fantastic, but mm, generally top supports for arcing bridges and bottom supports for sagging bridges or a mix. Yeah, I'm all but certain that I just tried this, but oh well. Let's just throw some more in for the hell of it. Mm hmm. You did. Yeah, I thought so. So much weight on this thing. Mm. I wonder actually. Let's turn this off for a bit and do something a little different. Also, let's have you. Oh! When I think of bridges that almost look like this. I think of little diamonds. So let's try making a bunch of diamonds underneath this thing. Now whether or not these connect to each other or not, I do not know. Also, I don't like the snapping on this. Stifling my creativity. Mm -hmm. Jake, sagging bridges put more stress on the center of the bridge where arches put less on the edges. Oh, put stress on the edges. Mm -hmm. Fascinating, but I'm not sure if I can put that to use here. It's been put to use, my budget's being put to use here. I hope this thing can hold nicely. Alright, how do you feel about that? Not great, but what if you did feel great? What if string would be better for this? Have... 
at. Oh, wow. This is Grimbo. Hmm. Maybe the problem here is with all these uh, rectangles that I have. People have told me before that rectangles are no good. Still gonna have rectangles below, but let's see if it likes this first. My budget doesn't like this though. I feel like I might be stuck here for a wee while, and we've already been live for over five and a half hours. But I will get this chapter done under budget and unbreaking. Now we can worry about chapter five later. Oof. Well, it, it held together slightly better. Now we try for more of these. It's gonna be nothing but triangles here. Under budget, but past the deadline. <laughs> Let's be grateful for the no deadline here, then. Oh man, I might even have the double budget to see this through. Nope. Well, that'll have to do. Not even close. Okay, well, this was a bust. Okay, new ideas needed here. You do realize that the weight of the supports also affects the bridge stability, right? I do. Specifically, every joint adds weight to it. Hmm. <laughs> the canal's open again to ship the containers. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is a bridge going over the canal. And now it's being blocked again. Okay. Let's try arcing once more, but this time up a bit. That's a little high, so let's just dip it low. Well, that's flat. And that is less flat. Maybe a bit more arcing? There we go, halfway, halfway house. We're on uh, 414, I think. Yeah, 414, big rigs, and it's given me jip. So as we've been graciously informed, the bulk of the pressure is going to be on the edges here. Nothing a lot of steel can't solve, surely. But from here, what? I just do not know. Maybe from here, we could have some triangles. And these triangles will be supported by string. Well, maybe cable. Then I get to this point and I wonder where do they loop up to. Yeah, in like that I guess. Okay, how could that possibly fail? because people drive two tankers over it, that's why. What's giving here? What is failing? You, you look pretty roasty. But you know what? Everything else was holding quite well. I just need to find a way to make this hold a whole lot better than it does. And I bet it would if it was supported with diamonds. bad. More diamonds.
Shang, so now you're giving up the ghost. Oh, that's just sagging straight away. Mm. Yeah, the road can't handle this. So good for so long, but not long enough. What about that? Would that offset some of the pressure? Still really feeling it there. It's kind of on fire there. Oh man. At some point, does this thing just go critical? Ah, this is first break. Hmm. Brace against a glyph wall, Jake might dissipate. Brace against it. Why would I brace when we already have a point there? Unless you mean that we should have this rub up against it, which might make some sense. So if something's breaking here, I don't even know how I'd prevent that. Especially considering that I'm already over budget and I'd have to make budget cuts. Yeah, I just can't handle it over here. stuff is in great pain. And normally when that's the case, stuff like this helps. It tries so hard. Oh yeah, length can really help with stability. Tiny little triangles that just go dup 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 are nowhere near as good as the tall ones. And yet, none of this is good enough. Hmm. Yeah, well, it held enough for this to give out. pressure on this thing. How can we deal with that? I'm not even sure if that's going to help in any way, but maybe that would. The thing is, I've not even gotten anything across this yet. What broke there? Something here did. Hmm. Over budget or otherwise, I have yet to get these two trucks across this bridge. Uh, hey, well, we're getting somewhere. If I just copy this monstrosity over here, we might have something that works. And that's kind of what I'm after at this point. Something that works. So what should I do? I don't know. Take this, copy it, rotate it. Ooh.
Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. 96, 98, 99, and crunch. What went snap? This poor arrangement here did. Maybe I could make some kind of design here that's a bit more symmetrical. And maybe farther reaching. I said a bit more symmetrical, not perfectly symmetrical. I'll probably need another bit of reinforcement to that. Notice that these guys aren't doing a whole lot of anything. Uh, well, I say that. Some of them are. This guy certainly is. But I wonder if I could just get rid of all of these and just move the move the everything up top for something nice and relatively cheap. Forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety. Ooh. Something went here. You went here. I wonder if that's considered a critical support beam. Well, I didn't have one here. How about you? Cable was getting pretty damn yellow. <laughs> Cable's fine. 60, 70, 70, 80, 90. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. We're finally across. And we're 50% over budget. Okay. Let's try that again, but shave a lot of money somehow. Where, I don't know. Let's maybe have less of this. You gonna be okay with that? I don't know, you were hitting the 90s before. Somehow, somehow that held. You, however, didn't. Are you two or one? Okay, sweet. Now what? How about we replace all this concrete with uh, crappy concrete? I wonder if it'll like that. Well, it's not about liking, it's about accepting. No, it does not like that. But, you know, all the pressure's on the sides in an arch, right? Okay, well, ignore that then. Let's take a close look on what is not eating. Hold on, these things are no longer fit for purpose, are they? Well, they're fit for saving me a few grand. Okay, I'm seeing some things that aren't doing anything, like you and you. Seeing some other guys that are doing nothing, like you and you. Okay, how about these guys? They look a bit useless to me. Alright, we still have superfluations. These are just a little too long to be woodified, but a little bit of wood goes a long way. You know what, let's just squeeze you up a bit and do this. God, I feel like such a scumbag here. Just taking the vital parts of the bridge, replacing them with uh, cheaper alternatives 
just so I can fill my own wallet here. Right, I bet you guys aren't doing that much. I bet you could be elevated and woodified. Elevated and woodified. Is that the same level here? Close enough. Don't worry, Jake, the council loves you for that. Oh, well, they won't like that, though. Okay, we're almost there. Just need to shave a few dollary dues more. Right, here's my thought. See all this steel? It could be not steel. And that might be a problem, but it could be made into rope. Rope bridges are a thing. Hmm. <laughs> Rope under compression. It could have worked. How about these as ropes then? Rope is cheaper than steel. Fat savings. Oh, fat chance of a functional bridge as well. Wait, why did that fall apart? Looked fine to me. What if... Every other part was replaced with rope. <laughs> Doesn't like it at all. Right. Let's get Gammy four and a half grand to save on this somewhere. How about you were brought up a bit and replaced with wood? I don't know how important you are to the structural integrity of this whole thing. I'm guessing very. It's really impressive how bridges can handle such incredibly heavy loads, though. I bet these things weigh more than the bridge itself. Hmm. I see Jake's idea of incremental upgrades amounts to large batches of changes and hoping for the best. You caught me. Wood is not happy. I'm not sure if these incredibly important points are going to enjoy being wood. Well, they're going to be told to like it or lump it. Okay, a few more changes of wood and we're good. Or of anything, really. Are you even doing anything? Yes. What about these guys? We already deleted a lot of their friends. Now we get rid of them. We only suffer minorly for it. Okay, it's still a saving. I think I tried replacing you with wood and it went terribly. Huh, okay, sure. Now, a little bit more, a little bit more. Could I just lower these a little bit more and get away with some wood? Uh, that seems dangerous. cheap road at the start or the end. I tried switching out some cheap road before. The game did not like that much at all. Then again, I've made plenty of changes since then. Alright, like that. Oh, we're so close. All the pressure's at the edge, as they said. Well, I feel no pressure. Only the glowing esteem of victory. Big Riggs makes it across and oh, I'm so sorry, Darth Air. Alpha Gamo just barely makes it, but Johannes MG just couldn't cut the mustard. Who needs 97 grand to build a simple matchstick bridge?
All right, this I do really want to see other solutions because I clearly didn't have what it takes. Okay, so arcing supports for an arcing bridge. Hmm, interesting. Oh, it can be done straight. And that's what Alpha Gamo did, and he did it right on the budget. Shadow? What do we have here? Another straight bridge. Hmm, I need to get better at offering good supports for long bridges. <sighs> then, G Pick just trundling along. Marvin. Oh, Marvin went into the water? Was there even a point where you could support it in the water? No. But maybe. Hmm. Oh well, it works. Onwards and upwards. Two more to go. Twists and turns. He's using cables there in the middle. Is yes, that so? Right. What do we have here? How do we do it? Car, hydraulics, the bikes, more hydraulics, and a flippy around of the car. What am I missing here? Oh, the intense lack of road is what I'm missing here. Hmm. We do that, and we have a problem. Car goes first, huh? Any good construction company never goes under budget, says Alpha. Words of wisdom that only a German could produce. Car goes. So we need something that gets the car across, and then we need. Hydraulics such that suddenly the roads work for these guys. Now I think I see a solution here. How far can you go up with that? Not that far, actually. That's the problem I have a lot of. I never am able to put these things as far as I want to. But I'm sure that's the right way to look at it. We just need it to go further. So what I could do is something like this. So it's going to push it all the way down over to here. And you're going to do a similar thing, pushing this one all the way up and around. Let me think. I want you connected with this. That's going to be one and one. That'll be two and two. Shouldn't it be at 45 degrees instead of 50? Well, whatever. 51 will do. Alright, that'll keep them steady, but they're gonna, still going to swing around a lot, so we need to prevent that somehow. Also... Oh boy, this is going to confuse me in all sorts. You are going to be number one. So you connect with this... Not with that, and with that. That probably makes sense. Mm hmm. So you're gonna go, but you need to have it such that it's coming over here. I wonder if I could make this contract to bring it up with it. And then I could do a similar thing with you. Is that gonna work? Close enough! Alright, sweet. Now what's our problem? Okay, what broke, apart from everything? This is pooling... Hmm... 
Ah, right, well, these are probably the wrong way round or something. Let's try it without first. Ah, right, they're on pivots there, which also need to break. <laughs> oh god, I'd hate to be the guy on the top. Okay. Try again. It won't work, of course. They'll swing around even if this does work. Like so, but that's exactly what we need to prevent. Uh, hang on, should have paid more attention there. Right, so although you're going down like that... Hey, actually, you do all right. That guy's not, but... Uh... This guy just needs to do a bit better, and that can be made better with you. Wait, probably not. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe. Just need to go out a little less with these folks. Freaking wonderful. Oh, snap, you need to go back. Minor flaw in the plan, don't worry. Minor flaw in the plan. Actually, I'm not sure how that happened at all. What was the problem? Ah, you swing too much. But you know what solves swinging? You know it, I know it. There we go. Ah, wrong one. Alpha says, amazing how Jake solves these without even thinking. I mean, what thinking is there to be done here? Seems kind of simple to me. I mean, refinement, sure, but, uh, real simple. You're meant to extend, you extend, you can... It's hard for me to pay attention to which side is where here. Right. The problem is coming with you... Those are extending, but this is contracting. Ah, right. So instead of you being there, you should probably be... elsewhere. Somehow. You know what, why do we even have you? Oh, because we need to extend it back into this position, that's why. I don't know, there's going to be a working number for this somewhere. And that's not it. I'm not even sure if that's too far, too short, or too anything, but... It's more like it. Go, 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 go! Ah, terrible. There's a bit of tolerance on these things. Poof, Crivens, was this meant to be difficult? Well, why don't we just ask literally anybody? Because they were all pathetic. All right, let's move on. Right, 416, don't leave me. 60 grand. Oh my, it's driving along with some cars here, which are probably going to activate. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see it in action. We're not even going to look at any of those pathetic attempts? Why would we? There's no improving upon perfection. Alright, I should probably pay at least a bit of attention to what we're meant to be doing here. <laughs> I regret ever buying this game, says Alpha. I'd rather play more Mario. 
<laughs> oh, the misery of other people is the highest form of enjoyment. Especially when he's a Spaniard. Right, I'm getting a little excited here, so let's calm down a bit and actually even take a drink. Consider this. It's the final milestone. I'm going a bit loopy because this game's pretty great for three or four hours, but once you start hitting uh, uh, a half of half the day, it's a bit much. Mm. Okay. Even with the dampeners, who are the best there? Okay. The big thing drives along. It stops at A1, I see. Then some hydraulics kick in, the subway thing comes along, but the, the hydraulics stay activated. And then car C drives along. Da -da 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 -da. And then A activates again to go to here. Then the hydraulics kick in again, and then the buggy's got to hit up to there. So I see it all now. First things first is to get you here, and then to have this car get up to there. I reckon this could be done with ramps. Oh, well, no, this thing needs to get along, and it's pretty big and heavy. Hmm. I did World 1 to 4 all on Sunday, Jake. I get it. Yep. Oh, well, let's just start with some sweet Welsh concrete. So, brrr, ding, and then out goes the race car. I'm actually wondering why the submarine is even there. Like, what would you be doing that gets in the submarine's way? I just don't know. Now, why would you not just solve this with a couple of hydraulics? this one up a bit. Yeah, I gotta remember just how tall this bad boy is. Mm, that's okay, we can handle invalid. Now this race car isn't heavy, so this shouldn't be a big deal. be such that, ooh, that could get a little tricky, couldn't it? have this for now. Oh yeah, right, the last of it needs to be somewhat held together. Ah, good enough. Just plow on through. Hmm, so it is possible to out-dampen one of those tr- no, it makes it through. Sure, I guess it just couldn't hold. Okay, well, let's try and hold it together for the final, final bit here. Although holding it together is getting harder and harder. I wonder if that actually will work or if this thing will just go... No, yeah, it shouldn't go. Can't imagine why it would go. Will that hold? Looks good. How's the clearance? Perfection, as usual. 
Alright, needs a little bit more reinforcement because it does not like that car coming off there. Ah, I bet that's enough reinforcement. But just in case it's not. Can you not connect there? Yeah. Well, now it's just a question of how that thing gets over there. You'll get there, then we'll have some uh, some hydraulics kick in. But where and how can we have hydraulics kick in here? If I had to guess, and I suppose I do. Have you retract? How would you like that? How's it going to look when it comes down? Pretty good is the answer, but not quite good enough. Oh, to ruin it there. Okay, what if you were just down a smidgen? Yeah, we know the red car is capable of quite a few things, but I'm thinking that might be a bit too much for it. <laughs> okay, what if we just had a bit more coming out of this thing? A little bit of a gentler slope, if at all possible. No, oh, Jinx, not when it's like that. No! <sighs> even that's a bit much. Let's even back it up a bit and raise it up a bit. Oh, well, if that was just down a smidgen. Unyielding optimist. I'm a very optimistic person. I might appear quite cynical, but I like to see the best in things. Didn't see the best in that, though. Good thing I have triple speed. Imagine if 1x was your only uh, option here. Right, it just cannot handle that. This whole thing crumbles at the very thought. So... Maybe I shouldn't have them like that. Maybe I should have it a bit more reinforced. It's not really a problem having it uh, attached a bit more solidly. Yeah, reinforcing the road's another idea if this still won't work out. It needs to be a tad longer. That's about as long as we can do, unless we bring this over a touch. Which can still be done. Let's just reinforce the road. I'm making a mistake by not doing that to begin with. Because that's something I can cut in the budget later on. Speaking of budget, already spent hours. Fortunately, there's a lot of probably superf... Oh my days. He just has his filthy way with that. Okay. Red car does not care about your feelings. Okay, well, let's not care about the red car's feelings. You want to play silly buggers, red car? You play silly buggers. How are we going to do this and not destroy the integrity of this, though? Pushing this up, and I'm going to want to pivot it, pivot it around something. Probably you. Is that even 
isn't going to do anything. We'll find out soon. Yeah, kind of. I just need to make sure this stuff stays together. <laughs> Red car clearly speed racist. Okay, what's what's not coming together here? Ah, this has nothing else to attach it to. Well, anything. We could have some very basic road up top, but I fear I'm just causing myself more problems this way. Oh, especially with this. This is going to crunch or not. Go, red car! Ooh, you do not quite do that as well as I'd like you to. What if it wasn't so steep? Is any of this doing anything? Just get rid of it. Go, red car. Pick up some real speed. Uh, almost. Try it at 40. I could attach a bit more road at the end here with a rope, but I want him to be able to make this. And I think I'm hoping for a bit too much, though. He couldn't do it at full extension. The budget's a real concern, so I'd like to do this with... Ah, dang, that's just not enough, is it? Oh, well. Good enough. Now, you are mega fast, so I have a proposition for you. We just make this some kind of mega slope for when it's your turn. Which means something's going to have to give here. What, though? I don't know. Can I just get rid of these for now? <laughs> this is no longer doing anything, but i got to say, this holds quite well. Oh, right. Um... Not you here, and here, not you. Also, you're doing nothing, goodbye. So up it goes, down you go. What broke this time? Oh right, there's nothing now holding you in place. That could be a problem. What did we have before? Yeah, we had this pivot point for you to go over. Now we don't. What if this pivot point was what this was then? Don't forget about the boat. Of course I'll forget about the boat. Oh, wow. Okay, whoops. You, for one, you need to be an extender. I don't know how much by, but secondly... You need to not be on this one, and definitely on that one. Alright. Up you go, you can make this jump, and then up we go some more. Eh, not really. Sure about that one. Yeah, no, that's not adding to this. What would add to that is maybe further extending you. How you like that then? Well, not a lot since you've disconnected. Probably because I've set you to be disconnected. Oh yeah, of course, they're not set to not activate on the first round. They could have just done away with the boat. It's only costing me time here. Ah, it's not quite going up like I wanted it to. Of course, because this is stuck, isn't it? Hmm. I thought it could 
do away with that fixed point though. Like that, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay, you're clearly not doing it for me, and you're definitely not doing it for me. So let's rethink this one. What if you were there, you didn't exist, and you also didn't exist, or maybe you do exist and you're made of rope. And you don't need to contract that much, probably. And of course you're on the second, but not the first. And this should probably just be like that. Just look at that rope sag. Up you go, so this still works fine. And then you contract a bit to make it go even higher. <laughs> Uh, maybe don't contract so much, just a tiny amount. Oh, wow. Can't quite hold it together. What even broke first there? Normally it shows first break. Oh, this thing broke. Apparently. Well, we got a bit of budget to play with, so I'll throw you in there, but... Otherwise, maybe some of this just can't quite hold it together with the sheer speed and tenacity of that little RC car. Okay, do you even do anything? In fact, why are you sagging to begin with? Oh, this is what's sagging. Well, goodbye then. Not bad. Come on! Oh, wow. This stuff just can't hold together. Then again, didn't I de-reinforce it? Is that a bit of extra help for it? Oh, I made a mistake with that though, didn't I? Yeah, the rest of the whole thing doesn't like that. Because you're meant to be pivoting around that. Almost, but I feel like I'm trying to squeeze something out of something that shouldn't work to begin with. Yeah, that thing just tears through this, because this is not uh, reinforced. Actually, maybe it could be reinforced enough if we just help it out a touch. And there's plenty of steel that we can take away to make this work, if this works. Uh, excuse me? something change? <sighs> that thing's just not quite going high enough. Okay, what if it wasn't about you here? What if, dare I say, we had double extension here? Like instead of you there, we had... Uh, nope, not seeing it. I thought I saw it, I didn't. I'm also considering what if uh, this was the turn point instead. Oh, 
Oh, well, that's a problem. You can't go high enough. But we can go... Oh, no, we can't go much higher. We're, oh, you only attach to there, though. You could attach here and push it much higher. That's why I didn't do that to begin with. This game is fully deterministic, apparently. Marvin has said uh, otherwise. Okay, now we no longer need this, and that's a nice saving. Now, I could probably do the same as I did before, because it's not going to be quite as abhorrently steep. Where you retract, but not by a lot, just like 20 should do, I guess. It, it should hold a little more, because this is a longer distance for it to... Something, something. More stability. Longer everything. That's good. Ooh, a bit too much contraction. Really, it does not need a lot of it. Yeah, this game is 99% though, uh, deterministic though, and that's plenty. Oh, baby! A winner if ever there was one. However, it all needs to be under budget, so where can we save the money? The answer uh, lies somewhere. You're probably not needed. Sure, there are other savings that could be done. Look at this piece, that's not feeling any of them. Hmm. Wow, these pieces were more needed than I thought. I still don't think it's feeling any of the burn though. It's just other pieces breaking. Alright, come on, I can't have such a lackluster score here. You're not needed, and you're not needed. Mm. Lackluster it is, then. But I'm still cons convinced you're not really doing anything for the team. And I bet a lot of this stuff could be replaced with wood. Make those savings while we can. Oh yeah, since this is a lot more stable, it shouldn't need to be made out of steel. car still does a number on us. I don't want to extend anything here though because uh, extensions might throw off some of these little cars. Hmm. That steel was more needed than I thought then. Any more for wood? I bet this could be replaced with just a bit of wood instead of uh, all that steel. For big savings. Mmm, big savings. I saw that thing light up. Is this even a big saving now? I might have just spent more money on all of that. Okay. And no, it was not big saving. It was quite the opposite of big savings. Any more for any more. Still places where wood seems prudent. Well, prudent is not the right word, but I'm using it anyway. When this car drops off, though, crunch. However, the pressure was all over there, so I bet if we just migrate... Shadow says, it's fine, keep spending, I don't mind. Oh, can't wait to play the comparison game, it's one of my favourite games. 
Alright, 51432 seems good. Who's it better than? Marvin, Ice Spear, and Shadow, because Shadow couldn't keep it together. It literally broke apart. Then again, Lento Banani coming in, stealing the show. Less than half the budget needed. Impressive stuff. But you know what else is impressive? Alpha Gamma once again couldn't cut the mustard at all. Not even on the list. That's right, if you add yourself to be on the friends list, there's great glory to be had, but also great flogging to be had if you couldn't cut the mustard here. Okay, wow, my brain feels like it's been drilled full of holes after this. Six and a half hours is a lot of time spent bridge building. We're not done though, there's a whole other chapter to do, and then there's challenges on top of that. But let's see how our buddies did at this. Shadow. What is this? Does this break apart? Apparently not. Looks very similar though. You've been copying my homework. Oh, I like that. I like the the double the double hydraulics there. Looks good. What did the legend himself get up to? Okay. Oh, very okay. Nice. Very similar though. Can we see the 26k solution? Yeah, I'm keen to see this as well. Massive stress on it. Very simplistic design. I'm surprised it holds together, but it does. So what do we got? One, two, three hydraulics. Out it goes. Makes the jump easily. Flips it up just a bit at the end. Oh, that is sublime. Lento Banani. If I had a hat, I'd be tipping it to you. You stole the show. All right, whew, okay. Uh, we'll do the recap like we did last time because I want to see some of these back in action. But first off, all completed, all under budget, all unbreaking, as it should be. Okay, first up we had Edgy. What was the story here? Oh, very simple. Just make yourself across this bridge and you've got some stones underneath. Some very not... Uh, I was going to say isometric, but the word is different from that. It's, um, symmetric. Not very symmetric rocks, but we still make it work. Overachieving bridge here. But people were laying into my 0.1mm clearance before. And that allows the tow truck to make it all the way back. I didn't know you can activate m hydraulics in multiple phases like that. Good to know for World 5. Well, if it allows you to. doesn't always. Alright, easy peasy. What was up next? Collision warning. I tend not to like these ones because it's a bit of scutter. But this one was quite easy. Over, under, done and done. Nothing fancy to it. Sloped drawbridge. Oh yeah, this one was where I kind of kept insisting upon raising the whole bridge. And in the end, it actually worked. Too slow. Speed up. I like the curved ending here. Up the whole thing goes. Notice it wobbling a bit. Notice the uh, barely clearance as well. Down it goes, locks in, and blue car makes a somewhat non-impactful appearance there. Trap door, hey. Took a while to get this one to work, but work it did. We shove it across, down goes the pivot. Seesaw. With dampeners, of course. Uh, triple Decker Drawbridge. I can't remember if this one gave me much problem or not. Probably not. I mean, look at that. Easy peasy. It's just three hydraulics. All operating, all back down, and the bridges all support each other. Of course, with a little bit of dampening, the cars don't have to stack the pressure on the bridge. And they all make it across. No problem. Now, far from any problem, way underspending here. Only the powerful Meowzilla was able to topple us here. Did we ever see Meowzilla's uh, approach here? No, that's G pick. Here we go. Ah, of course, if you just go over the top, you won't have to use uh, a bit of pulling for it. Clever approach there. I got too dragged down with the idea of drawbridging all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because hydraulics are expensive. But just a little bit of an arc, and an arcing with all of its structural integrity would work well. 
Safety gap. What was this? Oh, it was easy. Bang, 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 and across. Right in the middle. Righto. Big spender. Oh god, this one was rough. Was it rough? It was probably rough. I feel like it was rough. Didn't have a lot of money, but in the end we scored quite a bit under budget there. Beating quite a few of you at it, but that's just to be expected. Thread the needle, another one of these jumpy ones. Never a big fan, but over it goes, down it goes. Done and dusted, and that's not a break. Nothing broke. Uh, tipping power. <laughs> we were here for a while, and it doesn't look like it should work. But then you begin to see the majesty of the creation here. Technically a bridge. Exciting run for the school kids here. It reminds me of when I was riding the school bus. Some of the parts of the journey I was convinced that bus would tip over. Never did though. Never did. Just like you feel like this one's never gonna reach the finish line, but it'll get there eventually. Many school kids were harmed in making this bridge. <laughs> Alright, the maliciously dampened bridge will get us there in five, four, three, three, two, one. Nicely done. And uh, not the most expensive solution either. Right, onwards. Drawbridge in disguise. Well, it's a very good disguise because it doesn't look like much of anything. Good clearance, as usual. That little hump there was a pain, and so was banging her head on that. <laughs> Spent loads of money, but at least ours didn't break, G-Pick. Lean on me. Oh god, this was a nightmare, wasn't it? Was this a nightmarish one? I don't know. I recall it taking some time. This chapter had a lot of long bridges without a lot to support yourself in the middle. But, with the old saggy bridge, the bendy bus makes it through. And then the trailblazer, what was this all about? Ah, oh, yeah. Although I don't like the, the jumpy cars, I like ones where you thread the needle like this. Bing! In it goes. And back across we go. Really getting the hang of these hydraulics now. You know, by the end of the game. And a uh, reasonably good score. Marvin did better, but how did Muzilla do that with so little cost? Maybe we can check it out. Mew, what are you up to? Alright, what do we have here? Across you go. A tiny little flap. and Okay, so much the same, but ridiculously low on the amount of materials that you used for it. Very good, very lean, very impressive. Speaking of very impressive, our solution to this so-called diagonal drawbridge it's not to use a drawbridge at all, but to use the insane horsepower of that tiny little car. Is horsepower the right word? I don't know. I'm not a car person. Bye bye, blimp of no consequence, and hello, powerful little blue car. This is the one that could have, should have been called Trapdoor. Torque, Jake. Torque. There we go. They're all words. It's just. Sneaking its way through in disguise. Springs were the, the ticket here. Just needed a bit of spring at the end in order to keep it all functionally together. And then, whee! Crunch. Nicely done. Muzilla did pretty good, but also did pretty breaking. Uh, I think we already looked at some of the solutions here, and they were cool. Big rigs. God, this one was hell. The solution, surprisingly simple, but... Getting it to work, rough. Rough beyond measure. How cheaply was it done? Ah, uh, pretty cheaply by Lento. What did Lento do? Please don't berate my broken attempt on this one. It was an accidental submission while testing, says Musilla. I get that, right? If I was being fair, I would check unbreaking only. But... It's not about being fair around here. There's nothing in the rules about being fair. So if you accidentally submit a very cheap but broken design, the onus is on you to better it and not have it break. In any case, I'm curious about Lento's very cheap solution to this, so hopefully they uploaded it. I mean, I'm not uploading any of mine. I guess I could, but I'm not. 
G pick, Alpha, Shadow, G pick, Legendary, Musilla. Well, let's see what you got here. Quite cheap, saggy. Ooh, interesting little catch there, but it's supported largely by some. I'm not sure if that's cable or rope. In any case, I'm surprised that holds together. And maybe you were too at 99.9% .9 stress. Lento. Very cheap. Just a stick on top of the. Uh, on top of the cables there. Very simple, very effective, very impressive. The twists and turns. Man, this one was so easy. It was easy because they only gave you four road. The moment I saw it was four road, I could see this uh, in operation. Nice. I'd like to see this solution somehow involve a, uh, a Manju, but... Well, maybe some other day. Right, don't leave me... And this one was just getting my, uh, get my wee hydraulics operational. In you go, and in you go. Relatively cheap as well. Good job. Whew! That was exhausting! <laughs> I did not expect that to be as tiring as it was. Uh, I wonder how much longer it took to beat that than it did with Tranquil. I don't know, I haven't been measuring these. But Serenity Valley is the next one up. Another 16 levels. They're probably going to be even harder. After that, I don't know. I think going through all the challenge levels is going to be a bit intense. It's doing the entire long play again, uh, but much harder. I don't know. Maybe I'll think up some system of doing those. Maybe. <laughs> At the very least, we'll get... Uh, Chapter 5 done, and we'll do that on the no next long play session, which won't be tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm going to grind through those State of Decay Plague Hearts. Uh, I want to get that done and dusted before the multiplayer, so that's what's happening. Wow, tomorrow's Friday. Where does time go? Well, for me, it's almost time to go to bed, so cheers for joining for Polybridge 2. I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's a little aggravating at times, but when your solutions come together, it feels so damn good. And also knowing the pain that this is doubtlessly causing some people is just... It's the icing and the cherry on top. So until we have more of this pain or some more State of Decaying 2, it's a cheers and a cheerio.